All right, we should be live. This is Shadow Stream number 16, I believe. I can't believe I've been doing this 16 weeks. That's crazy. <coughs> I'm also sick. So what better time to sit here and play some games? Let's get started. We got some hype music to get. All right, we should be live. This Rocket is and rolling. Stream number 16. It's gonna be fun. I have an echo, but now it's gone, so we don't have to worry about it. <coughs> do have to worry about that though. That's gonna be that's gonna be fun to deal with. <laughs> So let's see who's here. I'm gonna try to keep my talking probably to a minimum, unfortunately, because it's uh, not going well. But <laughs> we got Meow624, Joshua1012020. Um, it's great. Thank you. Thank you for coming here. Hey, you got the Ganondorf. Great. That's great. You got a Ganondorf amiibo. I, <laughs> I actually do not have a Ganondorf amiibo. Um, so that's pretty cool. So obviously, obviously. Lazy Kirby 22 is here as well. Obviously, you guys want to hear me talk about Smash. Obviously. And obviously, I'm going to. So, by the way, so hyped. So hyped <coughs> for Smash Brothers. Like, Corrin, whatever. Uh, by the way, spoilers if you haven't seen the direct. Spoilers if you haven't seen it. Um, so, skip this for like five minutes. Uh, Corrin was kind of like... Meh. I mean, I always get excited about new content. New DLC is exciting. New characters are exciting. I'm not going to say that's bad, but kind of bummed that, number one, it's another Fire Emblem character. Number two, that no Isaac from Golden Sun. Wouldn't that have been so much better? But anyway, I don't I don't matter. I don't mind them putting characters from their newer games, but it just seems like blatant cross-promotion, which I guess is what made Fire Emblem popular in the first place anyway, but just Martha and Roy being in Smash and everyone being like, well, who the heck are they in Melee? But, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's interesting. Uh, so Corrin, I was just like, eh, I mean, he looks really cool. He looks really fun to play, but I was like, whatever. Another Fire Emblem character, you know, it's different, definitely, but whatever. But then, Cloud, obviously, super hyped about Cloud. I, I, if, if you know me, you know that from the trailer that was shown before, when we were gushing about that, it was like, holy crap, Cloud is, that was like the ultimatum. Cloud is in this game, everything, the universe just all came together, the planets have aligned, and it's just the best thing ever. So that was awesome. Um, although Bayonetta, I have to say, that was cool too. <laughs> Bayonetta was was great. Um, I, I, I have to say, I, I don't really know a lot about Bayonetta, I haven't watched Bay I haven't played Bayonetta, um, I don't know too, too much about it, but uh, it seems really awesome, and I know it was a Wii U exclusive, and I know that was a big deal, so props. I think that's a great addition, and she looks, looks super fun to play as, um, so that's going to be awesome. Really, really hyped about all of that stuff. Uh, we got some new stages, we got some new costumes, we got Gino, which is a big middle finger to everyone to be like, hey, you want Gino in the game? He's in the game as a me costume, but still better than nothing. Can't complain. Like I said, can never complain about new content. Uh, so that's good. Let's see who else is here. We got the fake Jake one. We got BS Wolf 777. We have Jim Lafrin. Welcome, welcome. Um, so if you couldn't already tell, oh, Anthony Blaylock. Hello, Anthony Blaylock. As you can tell, I do have a little bit of a cold. Actually, that's more than a little bit of a cold. My throat has been killing me all day. Uh, so talking is a little difficult, but I didn't want to move the stream. I still want to have the stream because I've been looking forward to it all week. So, um, well, if I have to pause a little bit, uh, then just please, please understand is what I ask. Rest in peace. Um, please understand um, if I have to pause for a little bit. Uh, I'm going to try to be as animated and as talking as possible. To be totally honest, I could just pass out right now and go to sleep. Uh, but I won't because I really, really want to stream. Um, so, oh, you disliked the Smash Direct, says Kirby User in Smash. I don't know how you could possibly dislike it. I mean, you might not, you might think that there are more deserving characters, but I don't think you can ever complain about new additions. You know, yeah, Corrin, I was like, eh. Although, <laughs> I have to say, for the last one, which was obviously Bayonetta's reveal, I was like, uh, I was, um, what the heck was I going to say? Oh, yeah, for Bayonetta's reveal, <coughs> they started going <laughs> on this big thing with the Kid Icarus characters, and I was like, don't even tell me. It's something else from that awful, terrible franchise. I'm sorry. I just don't like the Kid Icarus franchise. I just don't think it's worth being relevant. I mean, Uprising is great, and yeah, Pit should be in Smash, but that's about it. I mean, it, Palutena, who the heck is that? So I thought that 
after, you know, they showed all the Kid Icarus characters, I was like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Another Kid Icarus character. And then I was like, nope, Bayonetta, which is awesome. So, I am super hyped for Cloud and Bayonetta. Less so for, for Corrin. Uh, but still hyped. Uh, uh, always new characters are always great. Uh, new stages are always great. They put a ton of content into this game. I made a bold prediction of a single player mode. <laughs> I, that was unfortunately not met. I think that's really the one thing that this game is missing to be perfect. Honestly. And I don't use the term perfect loosely. I think mechanically it's the best Smash Bros. game. Um, in terms of like melee is very fast, very competitive. I love melee. Um, but it almost gets like the high level melee is like super high level. How could you even compete with that? Um, at the same time, Brawl is the complete opposite. Brawl is super slow, um, and it gets a little boring, honestly, because the characters and everything just moves so slowly in that game. So Smash 4 is the perfect hybrid of the two. It's also beautiful visually. A, a tremendous amount of characters, content, stages, all that stuff. Um, but it's missing that single-player mode. And I'm not saying, like, single-player as in it needs a whole full-fledged subspace emissary. I'm saying as in an adventure mode for Melee. That, it writes itself. Like, have a Mario stage, a Zelda stage, a Mega Man stage. Uh, and, and, like, it, it writes itself. Well, how is that not in the game? But, I digress. Um, we have a stream to get to. So, I, I could listen to this, this battle music all day because I just love the fact that Cloud's in the game. Um, but, anyway, we're going to stop with that. And as I promised last time, I would love to know the ballot, the ballot results, actually. I agree with you because um, I'd love to see what the actual rankings were. I think that would be really interesting to see. So anyway, um, let's get started. This is back to the stream for round three. As promised, we are going to start with Super Mario Brothers, which we couldn't get working last time, but it should start up right away, and it did. Fantastic. I uh, just want to say hello to Lumpy Space 8, Hyrulean Productions, uh, X Mod, X God X. Welcome, welcome to Fate Jake 1. If I didn't uh, <coughs> mention you, I do apologize, but... We're going to play some good old-fashioned, retro, original Super Mario Brothers. And you know <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to be doing that a lot tonight, probably. You know what's funny about the original Super Mario Brothers? I mean, it's a fantastic game. But the music and the graphics and everything is so scratchy and old. Like, any remastered port of this game, I feel like it gets kind of lost. Because you're not playing with the original controller on the original NES... It just gets it gets kind of lost just how old it is. Um, and when you play this game, you're gonna hear the music, the sound effects, things like that. See the graphics kind of muddled. It's gonna it's gonna remind you that this this is Super Mario Brothers from 1985. This is not you know the remastered version. This is not the HD look in Mario Maker. This is original, not All Stars. This is original Super Mario Brothers. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and try to get through the first world. We should be able to do that. Should be able to do that. No problem. Um, oh, scratchy, classic music is wonderful. But yeah, see, this is this is as, as old as it goes. Uh, just about for the Mario franchise. I'm not going to take the shortcut. Uh, where's that? Where's that free life? There it is. Excellent. By the way, for anyone looking to go into... No, I'm not going to beat the game. Uh, for anyone looking to go into game design... Uh, World 1-1 in Super Mario Brothers is a perfect example of how to create a tutorial level. A perfect example. Um, everything in World 1-1 is placed so strategically. In fact, I could do a whole stream just analyzing World 1-1 in Super Mario Brothers because it's so... Oh, God. It so perfectly teaches the player how to play the game uh, without text. It doesn't use text boxes. It doesn't say, hey... Press the jump button to jump. Hey, you know you can run and jump at the same time. They don't have a character that pops up on screen. It's just running and jumping. And you learn all the mechanics of that by playing the first level. Uh, and that even includes <laughs> the shortcut so that veteran players don't have to play the, the tutorial level as it kind of is 1-1. Uh, but anyway. So, uh, I don't really... Um, I'm not going to go into detail about that. I know Odin's back did one as well, and it was really good. I'd love to try to do one myself, um, because there's a lot to talk about with 1-1. One, one. And a few other things, too, about uh, video games in general. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cheat this level out a little bit, <laughs> as you know. Uh, so, by the way, just figuring out that, <laughs> that you could go up there, 
that that's cool and that's not something like the internet i mean i don't want to say the internet wasn't around because it was I'm so used to just taking the warp zone uh the internet was around but it wasn't like people talked about video games too much so you had to just figure that out on your own and figuring that out on your own was like a big deal but you can go up to where the score is that's kind of funny oh wait there's a warp zone how awesome is that like one of the original video game secrets anyway Moving on. Hopefully the volume sounds pretty good. Like I said, I'm gonna have to keep my voice kind of toned down today. Oh, I'm not paying attention. Uh, so because I am feeling quite under the weather, but that's okay. We're, we'll make it through. And I really do want to play all these games. It'll be a lot of fun. Right. One three is actually not easy. Um, because it introduces a lot of new stuff, moving, moving platforms, these red Koopa Troopas, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, but shouldn't still be a problem for me to get through. I mean, I should be able to make it through all of one of one without dying. I don't want to promise that. Should be able to, though. And then we'll move on to something else, because you've seen Super Mario Bros. done not to death. <laughs> you know, everybody and their mom has played Super Mario Bros. Ah! Oh, didn't quite make that jump. Man, it's so tough. It's so weird to play this on the original NES. It's so different from like the modern versions we used to play. Even if it's a port, it just seems and feels different. Hello, Bowser. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump over you. That's the end of that. I don't know if that's an accomplishment or not. World one beaten without losing a life? Probably not. But of course, the princess is in another castle, as Toad gives you the middle finger to go away. So, that's that. Uh, we could, I could play this game for, for hours and hours, and it would just be a lot of fun. But we got to move on to some more interesting NES games. You've all seen Super Mario Bros. You've all played Super Mario Bros. probably. <laughs> so, let's move on. Got some music to put on in the background here, as, as usual. As we select a new game from the box of games, which is right behind me. Alright, here we go. Let's see, we're gonna take out Super Mario Brothers. Which is great. Obviously, can can never pan Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers is a fantastic game. Still lives up to this day as being an excellent platform. And again, it was really innovative in the fact that it was able to teach you I don't wanna say a complex game, because Super Mario Brothers is not complicated, but it was a game way more complicated than other games like it at the time. Multiple levels, all different types of enemies, um, all stuff like that was, was very, very much ahead of its time. And it was able to teach you about all of that without any text, which is, is brilliant. Um, but anyway, let's move on. You know, now, of course, it's like how, how you've never heard of or played Super Mario Brothers. But back in 1985, I mean, that was only the... Uh, the what? The third Mario game at the time? Well, we had Donkey Kong. Oh, no, we had, like, Donkey Kong Jr. and all that. But still, it was one of the few Mario games at the time. It wasn't really... Mario was like, oh, yeah, it's that guy from Donkey Kong. If, if anybody even made that connection. So, anyway, moving on. All right, we got the box. Who knows? The box could literally contain anything. Let me go ahead and mix this up here. I'm going to go against my better judgment. We're going to reach way down to the bottom. And we pull. Oh. Ah, I don't know if this is too bad. Oh, God. I don't know. This is going to be this gonna be weird. All right, here we go. Ugh. We got this game. It's in a nice little sleeve. Uh, this is Bandai's Ninja Kid. Ninja Kid by Bandai. I don't know anything about this game. All I see is a cartoon ninja shooting a lightning bolt <coughs> at... <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> so, let's see how this goes. It looks like a platformer. Let's see how it goes. Ninja Kid. Never heard of it. We're gonna give it a shot. Here we go. Let's do it. Ninja Kid. Probably won't work. For, probably take a little bit for this thing to work because it looks. It was on the bottom of the box. It's probably pretty pretty dusty. Here, Karcher's a little beat up too. Probably couldn't tell from me just holding it up, but. Let's see how this works. Come on, Ninja Kid. Ah. Uh, oh. All right. Starts out with that music right in your face. So this is Ninja Kid. 
by Bandai, 1986. That's, that's almost 30 years old. That's insane. Alright, let's give it a shot. Don't know what Ninja Kid is? Oh, God. Oh, God. It's like an RPG. What is this? Okay, just walking around. Just walking around. Can I do anything? Can I press B? Does nothing happens. Press start. Pause. Select. Nothing happens. Up, down, left, right. Nothing happens. Press all the buttons. Nothing's happening. So I guess I'm just going to walk. Just going to go ahead and walk. And walk and walk and walk. This is so far so good. I don't know what this is. Probably a stage? Nope. Nope. Oh, it's a stage. All right. Oh, whoa. This is kind of cool. Tells me those enemies are just gonna respawn infinite. Oh god. What? What even the hell? Alright, let's let's I'll be a little more aggressive here. Look at look at how he runs. What's with that running at? He's like running on his tiptoes. I guess like a ninja, like a stereotypical ninja is like runs on his Oh, those are power-ups. Good to know. Didn't know those were power-ups. Just gonna keep running. Is that power-up? Oh, it's giving me points. Looks like I can throw bombs. Or wisps? Maybe I have to collect them. What the heck is falling on me? Alright, so he's like time six. So it's like a counter counting down. Oh god, that was ugly. <laughs> so you know what I'm gonna try to do? I'm gonna try to oh, I'm gonna try to collect these. See if that does anything. I don't know if it will. Run forwards, backwards, three, two, one. Oh, I think that was a power up I just shot. Uh, that looks like a thing. Zero. Oh, I can jump down. Oh, that's a nice. That's nice. I can jump down. That's at least something. Hey, Alan P. Thirty six. All right. Well, I guess that. I guess I beat the level. I guess. Can't go back into it. So I'm gonna consider that level beaten. Guerrilla warfare. Da da da. All right, we're running, running and shooting, running and shooting. Gonna go ahead and oh, oh jeez, what is that? Got a thing. Don't know what it does. Can't seem to find a way to use it, so I'm just gonna say that it's a thing that I got. I need three skulls apparently. Oh, I, I think that that thing hurts. I guess game over. Oh, gotta start over. <laughs> I have no idea what the hell this even is. Like, first of all. <coughs> Just me or has the map changed? This is this was not here before. It is now here. Oh, Gorilla Warfare at the same level again. It is like a continue. Oh, we have to kill. Okay, so the skull. All right. Hey, thanks, Rachel. 31. So the skull means we have to kill that many enemies. Got it. Oh, oh, geez, those are, those come quick. All right, all right, we gotta be a little more a little more careful. Right, yeah. Why don't I just do this? Like, what's the what's the penalty for just doing this? No, there is no penalty. Just move and shoot. I'm gonna try to fight those things. All I have to do is this. Oh, that was a power up. Just went off the screen. All right, I guess. Oh, he shot me. This is so weird. Oh, okay. The the map changed again. I have a feeling that's bad. But blazing inferno. Oh, jeez. Look at this thing. Holy cow, is that thing following me? Oh wait, I have to light the candles with it, I bet. Aha! That's a little creative. That's cool. Oh, can I jump? Come on, get out of there. That's kinda kinda creative. There we go. More candles here. There we go, candle. Candle. I got, I got 20, uh, oh, look at that. Power up, baby. Look at that. That is special. That is something special right there. Oh, it looks like the level loops. Well, that's good to know. Do I have to get all the candles then if the level loops on itself? Probably. Of course, the enemies respawn. A thing. Oh, well, that's good to know that they jump. all those candles again. I would have been really pissed. This is so right I don't know what this is. This is so weird. Alright, gotta jump up and jump up and get the 
candle? Get the candle. There we go. Candle get. Whoa. Okay, I'm in another area now, I guess. Can I go ahead and keep jumping? Can I make, can I clear that? I can. Oh, jump. Ah, oh, skulls. Oh, is this a boss? That's gotta be a boss. Look at that thing. What even is that? What is that? Hold on. What? I'm so confused right now. It's gotta be a boss. It's a giant tree monster. This is so weird. How do I... I can't get up there. Oh, God. Get up there. Jeez. This is gonna be an ordeal. This is gonna be an ordeal. The jumping is so awkward. It's not as easy as it looks. This is such awkward jumping controls. Huh, jump, jump. Oh my god. Oh, you can't steer yourself in the air for a while. There's like a delay on steering yourself in the air. So like, I'm trying to explain it the best I can. I'm gonna jump and hold left, and there'll be a long time where the character doesn't move in the air. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. Aha! Oh, that was, that was easy. All right, moving on. Guess we're gonna go to uh, Poison Field again. And I'm dead again immediately. I don't even know. I don't know about Ninja Kid. I'll give it one more one more shot here. I kind of appreciate the randomized map layout. Blazing Inferno again. Seems like a Mario Party mini game. I got something else. I got shurikens. Get the candle. Get the candle. Jeez. Right. So confusing. Dead. I, 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 I'm not like an ninja kid. <laughs> this is so boring. Um, <laughs> I have to be honest. Like, it, this is a kind of a cool mechanic, the candles, but running around a mediocre platformer trying to dodge skeletons and light candles really not that interesting to play <coughs> I don't know about this one guys I don't know I don't know about Ninja Kid Wait, it looks so easy, and it's not, which, which is really frustrating. Like, I'm looking at this, and I'm like, how am I dying? But playing it, it's so frustrating. Oh, another boss, I guess. That's just like a 50-50 that you get a boss. <laughs> Listen to that boss music. That's intense. Giant eyeball. Oh. Aha, gotcha. Somehow. I guess there was a pattern. Maybe. That was weird. Right, you know what? I'm going to just advance to the golden thing in the middle and see what that's all about. Then I'll probably call it quits on Ninja Kid, which is just weird. All right, moving on here. Can I get past this without entering? Yes, I can. Then that overworld theme. That is top notch. Don't know what this is. Oh, apparently I can't even touch it or select it. What's this? Oh, it's probably that's probably a stage boss. So I need to get all the uh, things, probably. Oh, Ninja Kid. This was $60. Oh, this game was $50. $50. Alright, I gotta collect clouds. Cloud is in Smash, and I need you. Oh, I'm dead. Forget it. I'm not gonna play Ninja Kid. This is this is ridiculous. This game is is just a mediocre platformer. It's boring. It's just it just seems it just seems lame. It just that's the best way to describe this game. Like this game is lame. Not gonna play it anymore. Ugh, Ninja Kid does not have the same appeal as Karnov. No, 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 definitely not. Do not even compare the two. Ninja Kid is just not fun. Karnov was 
Karnov was fun. I have to say, Karnov was kind of cool. Uh, Ninja Kid, uh, no, 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 no. That was that was terrible. Add it to the stack. All right, moving on. Oh, jeepers, that was uh, that was a thing that happened. Um, I would not play Ninja Kid again. I would play Karnov again, but not not Ninja Kid. It just seemed lame. Um. That's that's the best way I could describe it. It was like an RPG platformer hybrid that didn't do either thing very well. <laughs> that that was that's the best way I can summarize that. I could never imagine buying that for fifty dollars. Karnov, on the other hand, was was fun. It, it was weird, really weird, but it was fun. Uh, for those of you that missed the last stream, Karnov, I have it actually in the stack somewhere. I just stacked up all the games we played. Um, here it is, right here. Uh, Karnov by uh, Data East. Um, this game is so random and so ridiculous. I mean, just look at the box. Look at the, look, the cartridge is just some guy shirtless in red pants that breathes fire and he's breathing his fire on at a dinosaur. We have yet to see a dinosaur in that game, but that was, it was fun. I would play that again. I'm not going to, but I would. Ninja Kid, I don't want to play again. All right, let's see what comes out of the box. Here we go. Oh boy, box. Box, 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 box games. Still plenty of games in the box. Still plenty of games. Could pick any one of these games. Oh, I'm gonna regret this one. I can already tell. I just grabbed it. Let's see. We also had the blank cartridge, by the way, last time. Oh, ah, ah. That's not, not totally regrettable. I can deal with that. All right, I guess, yeah, let's do it. Uh, all right, not one of my favorite NES games, but at least a recognizable title and actually kind of related to Smash, although sadly not related to Smash 4. This is Ice Climber on NES. So that should be fun. Let's play Ice Climber. Definitely an overrated classic though. I've played the original Ice, uh, uh, Ice Climber a lot and uh, it's really not that great, but better than Stupid Ninja Kid. So let's play some Ice Climber. Um, the funniest thing, was, though, was the blank cartridge last time. Could have been anything. Could have literally been, been anything. I pulled a blank, literally, it's right here. This blank cartridge from the thing. There's no, nothing on it. No label. No nothing. It was Monopoly. <laughs> it was Monopoly. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get Ice Climber to play. Oh, it started right up. That's nice. I have to say, as much as I think Ice Climber is kind of a uh, kind of a mediocre platformer, I'm not really a fan of it. I do have to say the music in Ice Climber is very good and very much underappreciated. It's catchy. All right, we're gonna go for a one-player game. Here we go. Da 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 da. Gonna get up to there to get the eggplant. Here we go. So anyway, the point is we are just Popo, no Nana, Nana's two players. Um, we gotta jump our way up there. The problem is the jumping controls are pretty bad and pretty asinine. Um, and it's really, really slippery. I think it might be intentional because it's ice, but regardless of whether or not it's intentional, it's, it's horribly frustrating when you have to make precise jumps. Like this right now is pretty easy, um, but making precise jumps is hard. Just go ahead and smash through all the blocks, just like Mario, headbutt all the blocks. All right, so when we get to some like uh, precise jumps here, you'll see it's gonna get kind of frustrating. Gotta get all the eggplants, gotta get all the eggplants. Because this music is super catchy and we don't want to die in the bonus stage. Can't jump through the platforms, by the way. You have to jump around them. So I can't go through the bottom of the platform like in other platformers. Super catchy, though, this theme. Ah, and bird! Gotcha! And that's the victory theme from Ice Climbers and Smash. Which is great. All right, we got some eggplants. We got some, uh, none of those. We killed a bird. I broke a lot of blocks. Nice. Here we go. Level two. Huh. 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 Watch out for the icicles. 
Shout out for the toe pie. Ah, gotcha. Ah, bird. Be gone. Yeah, see, I can't jump <laughs> through the cloud. And you want to watch out for those icicles. Actually, it's kind of a tricky game. It gets really hard. But it is fun. It's definitely, uh, like, it, it's fine. It's a little, I don't know, not my favorite. But it's, I'm not going to say it's, it's necessarily bad. Underappreciated in terms of music, for sure, though. Better than Kid Icarus, I think, in terms of uh, retro platformers that have made a resurgence or retro characters that have been uh, that are well known. I, I like this game way better than Kid Icarus. You know, Kid Icarus is fine. It's just uh, not my not my cup of tea. As I've discussed, see, I can't, I can't make that. Uh, uh, uh. Jump! Oh, jump, Popo! Oh God, I'm way down here now. I'm gonna run out of time. Ugh. I'm gonna run out of time. I can't clear it. I'm done. Out of time. Oh well, I tried. No bonus, unfortunately. But we did get four carrots, and we got uh, a bird, and I broke 20 blocks. Or I got 17 blocks. Sorry about that. Alright, here we go. It's progressively harder. Actually breaking through this crap on a moving platform. Oh, I fell into a toe pie. Ugh. We gotta get to the polar bears, though. The polar bears are the best. Okay, let's get rid of that. Ah! There we go. Get off the moving platform. That's the toughest part. These little things are like conveyor belts. They push you. Oh, I fell on... I don't want to fall on it. I want to jump on it. I only have one life left. Go away, bird. Ah! Let's get one of these moving platforms. Oh, I was not paying attention. I was just jerk I was just doing nothing. So I wasn't really paying attention to that cloud. Let me grab this one. Ah! Jump! Jump, Popo. Come on, bird. Come on, bird. Alright, bonus stage, here we go. Trying to collect lettuce or cabbage. I guess it's cabbage. Right, we <coughs> Three moving platforms this time. No, never fun. Come on, I need another one. Alright, well at least that happened. Oh, I'm dead. Ah! Dead. I got all the let. I got all the cabbage at least. But my cabbages. <laughs> Good old avatar. Oh man. All right, here we go again. Oh. That's the toughest. When you got a moving platform like that, that's tough. I think I got one life left. Go away. Oh, there's icicles on the clouds? That's not cool. Look at how fast that one moves. Alright, here we go. Bonus stage. Pickles. <laughs> I got zero. I just fell. I just immediately fell. That was pathetic. That was pathetic. Oh, wow. Oh, there's Mountain 4. What do we got? Not five. I wonder how many levels are in this game. Oh yeah, that's right. You can vault off of walls like that. You can kind of wall kick in this game, which is kind of cool. Dead though, so it doesn't matter. That's it. That's game over at Ice Climber. That was fun. That was kind of fun. We got to Mountain Five. Can't complain about that too much. It's kind of cool. Right. Ice Climber. Oh yeah, we can, we can now select. We can select which mountain you want to. So how many levels are in this game? It's 
20, 30? Jeez. All right, so the, I guess there's 32 levels. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to crank it up to 32. We're going to go to Mountain 32. Let's give it a shot. Oh, boy. This actually looks pretty hard. Mountain 32. Let's do it. Come on, Mountain 32. You ain't got nothing. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Look at that. Holy cow. Oh, my God. All right, this might be a problem. This is actually a big problem. Oh my, look at that. Ah. Ah, oh god, that's gonna be so hard. That is so hard. Alright. Nope. Yep. Yep. Oh, oh gosh. That is so strict on the timing. Why? Why? Ah! I wanted to hammer the bird. Oh my god. This, what? That's, how is that fair? Oh no, I don't want to break my platform that I'm standing on. I can't even get past the first jump. Huh, oh, There's no way. Like, how, how, how? You know what? Let's try this. Oh, jeez. Don't break that last block. That pushes you off? That pushes you off the platform. Oh, that's lovely. Ah! Oh, that was close. That was that's how you do it. That was close. Ah! Oh, that was really close. The heck that didn't count. Let's try it again. This is going super well. One more time. This time's the charm. Money, money right here. Oh, maybe not. Come on, Popo. Ah! Oh, my God, King. Oh, a polar bear. Oh, oh, that's right, the polar bear, oh, the polar bear bumps the screen. That's the worst. Dead. 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 I couldn't even get past, I couldn't get past Mountain 32. I couldn't even get up Mountain 32, forget that. Oh, God, that was brutal. That was brutal. Those polar bears are the worst. They bumped the screen. Oh, gosh. All right, well, that's not happening. What's Mountain 31? Let's give Mountain 31 a try. Why not? Why not? What do we get to lose? <coughs> Can't be any worse. Can it? Oh, no. Ah. Thank you for joining. I appreciate that. I guess I'm dead. Oh, I died again. Not going well. Not going well at all. Oh, dead again. Oh, let's try a much safer approach here. Oh, oh. That's right, because <coughs> when you jump up, even though you jump straight up, you ricochet off of the wall, which is really irritating. Um, even though I, I don't press left or right to go into the wall, because you start next to the wall, you ricochet off the wall. I gotta be able to beat one of these hard levels. Oh, this doesn't look like the one that I'm gonna be able to beat. That was horrible. Holy cow. Jeez, how am I going to ever stay on this platform long enough? Oh, that is so... That's... Oh, that's dirt right there. This is terrible. Oh my god, how is... How and why? Actual platforms that I need. It's just just gotta chip away at it. Oh. Jeez, oh, I need those platforms. 
This is just, just painful. What? What am I even supposed to do? Like, look how ridiculous this is. I keep breaking away the stuff I actually need. Look at that. Alright, well at least I have a spot to get up now. Let's see if I can make it. Oh, oh. Your character just pauses when you hammer, so you don't continue on the cloud, you just like freeze in midair. Come on, baby. Jump! Oh, I, oh, he put the block back. Of course he did. Of course he did. That's dirty. That's a dirty play. Ice Climber. Done with Ice Climber. That was so close. Ugh. Done with Ice Climber. Done. Ugh. Ice Climber, though. Fun game. Um, One of those games that seems... I think it actually is perfectly exemplified there. Seems really fun at, at first, but the more you play it and the harder it gets, the more the game's flaws stick out in terms of controls and like how the, re the levels are just so unbelievably designed um, that it's just not and not great. It's good. Definitely good. Definitely a solid addition at an NES library, but not not great. Alright, anyway. Back to the box. Let's see what we're gonna get. Oh god, we got a lot of we got a lot of winners here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it gets it gets so frustrating later on. Like after you even get past like level five or six, like after that it's like ugh. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Give it a shot. Here we go. I think, if I understand correctly, this right here is a true classic. I don't know if it's actually good, but it's a true classic. Because this is Ultima Quest for the Quest of the Avatar. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is one of the original Ultima games. Like, you have Ultima Online and all that stuff. I think this is uh, the, the original of that. So, Ultima Quest of the Avatar. Let's take a look at the box again. Some guy on, like, a canoe uh, fighting a sea serpent. So, uh, let's give it a shot. I have no I have no idea. So, let's do it. It's made by FCI. It also says a, a Lord British game. I don't know what that means. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Ultima. Quest for the Avatar. It sounds like a, a horribly complicated RPG. Like an RPG that's... Oh, I don't think it actually did anything. Uh, an RPG that's like way too complicated for the NES. So that that's what I'm predicting. <laughs> that's my prediction for Ultima. It's going to be some RPG that like... If it was made two console generations later, would would have been fine. But for the NES, it's way too complicated. Alright, here we go. That music. Dig that music. All right, I'm, I'm hooked. Let's go. New game. Game one or game three? I get no game two. I guess so. I guess we're gonna go game one. Nine. Look at that name screen, by the way. I got so confused because it, it just literally wraps. That's terrible. Like, why not put the capital letters over there and the lowercase letters over there? Why, why is it all jumbled? That's so weird. Alright, here we go. We have been waiting for you for a long... What? Okay. 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 Um, 
honesty. Oh, this is like one of those things where you pick tarot cards or whatever. And it, uh, chooses, uh, you know, it's gonna set you on certain stats or something. Oh no, I, uh, I took justice. Burly Knight co uh, costs the, uh, demands that I food. Valiant refuse or sacrifice the f Oh, Valor. In my youth, that was this place to match that sweetheart. <laughs> oh yeah, whatever. Um, never deceive. Obey the law. Fight against evil or keep my vows. Fight against evil. Which I think is more valuable? Honestly. I am Lord British. What? Lord British? What the hell kind of a name is that? King of Britannia. Encyclopedia Britannica. I will come onto the blah 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 blah. Oh god. The eight virtues of Avatarhood? Uh oh no. It sounds awful. I mean this must have been really cool back in the day, but. Well here I am. I'm this little guy. Like, it looks like I'm a white mage. I mean I know that's probably not the case because this isn't Final Fantasy, but it looks like I'm a healer. How do I? I can't, I can't pause, I can't do anything but walk, so let's walk around and talk to people. Castle of Lord British! I guess to talk to these people, what do they have to say? Okay. Guess we'll venture out into the green unknown. Oh. Town? Alright, talk, cast, attack. Welcome to Moonglow, city of honesty and magic. Oh, that's convenient. Okay. Um. Talk. Oh, cryptic clues. Ugh. Oh, that's kind of cool, though, for going inside buildings. That is pretty innovative for back in the day. That's neat. I like that. Oh, God. Yes. Thanks. Oh boy. That's this is cool. I do like that. What do you have to say? Whatever. These treasure chests? Nope. Oh my god. Search. Open the chest. 75 gold! <coughs> Search. Six gold? Search. Gold. That was nice. That was awfully nice. What else can I do? I can cast, cure, heal, or dispel. I can attack. I can use a tool, I guess. I can search. I can do other. Oh, God. You know, I have to say, this RPG back in the day was probably really good. Nowadays, it's just too dated. Gold pieces, I assume, is Welcome to Spells Unlimited. Okay, I have nothing to do with you. I need like a shop. That's what I'm looking for. A weapons shop. What do you have? The healer. No. I'm at full health. Is it like a shop? Maybe down here. Magic goods. Let's see. Talk. Herb shop. I don't know what any of these do. But you know what? I'm gonna buy the most expensive one. This, oh, not zero. God, this is like crafting ring. Oh my god. This is so complicated. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Honesty. You have to actually pay nine gold. That's funny. That's, there's probably a whole honesty system in this game. That is funny. Okay, keep going to zero. I don't know why it's a false to zero. Why would you select zero? That's actually kind of cool. It probably does a whole honesty tree in this game. I am blind. Okay, All right, blind shop owner. Let's uh, just leave that town behind. Let's see what we can find here. This way. Let's see 
this up here. I'm waiting for a random encounter. Aha. Attack. That thing. Oh, it's like, oh my god, it's like a, this is super RPG. Holy cow, moving one space at a time? Auto. Oh, nice. I beat enemy one. Oh, this is nice. Can I attack diagonally? No. Oh yeah, spell? That's not cool. <coughs> Sheesh. Missile. Aha! Oh, he's still alive. Attack! Gotcha. Oh, he's still alive. Attack. Bam. Dead. Wow, that's, that is intense. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Alright, search. Hey, 43 gold. Oh, cool. So if you go into that region of the forest, because the forest is so dense, you can only see one square in front of you. That's pretty cool, I gotta admit. Oh, there's only one enemy. This will be kind of boring. And just auto. Auto is nice. I'm glad that feature. I have to move, I can't just sit. I can't just wait, huh? I wonder if you get any sort of terrain bonus. Bam! Blast him with a fireball! Oh my god. This game probably... Probably back in the day, this game would have been awesome. Nowadays, it's slightly dated. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna cast some magic. <laughs> Let's do ice. Oh, fire. Aya! Nice. Let's do it again. Cast. Fire. I assume M is mana? Maybe? It doesn't seem to be going... Oh yeah, we just went... Uh, I guess it just went down. Missile. Yeah, I guess meta is going down. So let's move. Forward. Oh, and you're recovering one mana per turn. This is actually pretty cool. Gotta say. Actually kind of neat. Missile. Oh, cast... Uh, Nice. Oh, a chest. I forgot about that. Yeah, the magic is super OP. Why not just be a caster? Doesn't seem like you would ever want to do anything else. Oh, there's a caster down there. Thanks, Cobalt. Appreciate that. Oh, uh, guy there. I'm gonna cast fire. Oh, I guess not. I'm gonna cast cure. Poison. Oh, that's great. Cast, uh, Protect. Success. That's nice. Attack. Only six. Can't do anything. This is so weird. I'm just like, I'm not in the mood for this type of game right now. <laughs> it's neat, but... I want to get to that castle. This is so cryptic. Like, no one knows where to go. Ugh. Is this a dungeon? I don't even know what this is. No, this has to be a castle. Oh, no. That's, not, that's like end game. Go there when, you, when you're ready to beat the game. Alright, what else we got? These people. Okay. Don't leave me alone. He's like, welcome. Leave me alone. Uh, no. K. 
Okay, I guess that was useful for something. What was the point of that? There's a resting thing. And we got a wizard down here. Oh, nice. That's pretty nice. Oh, yeah, that crypt, crypt, crypt. Okay. Very nice. Alright, my attention span is kind of, uh, kind of dwindling with this game. This game, again, probably would have been awesome if I played it, uh, in 1985. Uh, but right now, it just is so dated. I'm finding, like, rabbits. That's cool, though. That is super retro. Wow. That's neat. Uh, I don't see, like, anything. Oh, it's flashing for a bit there. I don't know why we're flashing. Oh, God. Oh, God. That is terrible. Alright, you know what? I'm, I'm pretty much done with this game. Oh, we got one more battle. Alright, let's do one more battle. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get killed by bandits or whatever I'm fighting. Looks like I'm fighting bandits. Alright, yeah, cannot move up, so that was actually strategic. Strategery right there. I'm just gonna wait here. I'm just gonna wait here for him. I have to say, it's cool. Not what I'm really into playing right now. I don't really, not really up for a retro RPG at the moment, but definitely would have been cool 30 years ago. Would have been, oh, I guess I don't even have to move to get into a random encounter. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Um, so, we're gonna call it a day on Ultima Quest of the Avatar. Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna classify it as would have been fun to play years ago, not now. Would have been fun to play years ago. At this point, no thanks. I'll take another RPG, like Chrono Trigger or Dragon Quest. No thanks. But it definitely was an experience. Ultima, Quest of the Avatar. Game that has not aged well, but actually kind of innovative and kind of cool. I'll give it I'll give it credit for where credit's due. That was that was neat. But my prediction was true, though it wasn't overly complicated RPG. I'm gonna eat a cough drop right now because I feel like uh, what do we got? Oh, we still have plenty of time. Look at this. We still have two hours to dig through that box. Oh, this is going to be great. Cough drop. Come on, cough drop. Stuck to the wrapper. Alright, here we go. Let's go for another NES game. It's going to be great. Alright, let's see what we can get this time. Here we have the box. Let's do it. I already have a feeling I'm going to regret this, too. Oh! That was not bad. A little beat up. It stinks. This cartridge smells. Oh, God. Ew. Ugh. That is disgusting. Why does it smell bad? Ugh. Ew. I'm not... Ugh. God, no. Ugh. I have to... It stinks! Like the cartridge smells! Oh god, that is disgusting! Alright, well, I'm committed to it. So, this right here is Gun Smoke from Capcom. It really, literally reeks of like mold. It's a good game! Oh, let's give it a shot. Little glitchy right there. Try it again. <laughs> Try it again. Ah. There we go. Gun smoke. There we go. Capcom man. Gun smoke. Here we go. It'll be fun. Well, yeah, I was 1849. 
a small town called Pickville, where the pioneers worked hard during the Gold Rush era. One day, a group of outlaws known as the Wingates came into town, killed the sheriff, and took over the town. The Wingates raided the town every day and uh, terrified the people of Hicksville. Then came a lone gunman in the windy afternoon with a sunset behind them to save the town, to save the people of Hicksville from certain doom. Okay, here we go. Done smoke. Let's give it a shot. Alright, town of Hicksville. I'm pretty sure it oh, wants it. Bandit Bill. <laughs> Rifle. Ten thousand dollars. Like I say, I'm pretty sure it's just running gun. Which is great. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Alright, so you need to shoot diagonally left or diagonally right. You cannot shoot straight ahead. Which is weird. But you can't. This is fun though. This I I, I know this game. This is I wanna get stuck and scroll off the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah! There we go. Get him! So far, so good. It's getting a little tougher, though. Oh, he got hit by a bullet. Try again. I can't get over the fact that, that cartridge literally smells like bad. It smells bad. I'm, I'm a little concerned. like a shot. <coughs> Wish I could afford any of it. Again, why didn't you just give it to me for free? That gives my, my gun a little bit more spread. This is fun. Run a gun. Get past that part. See if I get a better weapon. Oh, it looks like I started a checkpoint. Oh, I'm dead again. That was bad. That was bad. Try it again. Oh, real bad. Bandit Bill. $10,000 in 1980-something. gone a little bit. Reminds me a lot of Sunset Riders from uh, Super Nintendo. One of my favorite Super Nintendo games. Good shooter. I cannot afford anything in your shot. Doing well this time. Jeez. A lot of bullets. Those horizontal guys are tough because you can't shoot horizontally, you can only shoot diagonally left or diagonally right. So, oh wait, you can't shoot straight ahead. How about that? You gotta press A and B at the same time and shoot ahead. If you press them at the same time, you'll shoot straight ahead. Like, you're a horse? That's pretty cool. Alright, so if you press A and B at the same time, you can shoot ahead. I don't think I could actually shoot left or right though. No, it's either ahead, diagonally left, or diagonally right. Oh god, that guy had like a shotgun. That guy was hopping all around? What the heck's up with that? We got this. We got this. 
Oh. That we don't have to worry about ammo. That would be a real bummer in a game like this. Have to deal with ammo. Alright, we gotta be at the boss just about. You can't that's so weird, you can't shoot him while he's jumping, that guy in the blue there. You gotta be almost out of box. You would think. Look at a lot of cash. Jeez, I have $16,000? In... That's crazy. It's like double my savings account, at least. This is already like, this is like 1849. What the hell is going on here? Ah, I got hit. Oh, that's a good run, though. Ah, well. That was a long level. That was going on forever. Holy cow. Am I going to be able to get, like, another boss ever? That was long. Let me give it one more try. I love how they all drop those big bags of money. Big bags of cash. I like that this kind of... I have to say, I really like the shops built into this, like, kind of scrolling shooter. It's kind of cool. That would be really cool. Sorry. Sorry, sweetheart. Can't afford it. Wish I could, but I can't. Ah! Keep getting hit by those guys. This is tough. This is long. The level just keeps going and going. Is it a level? I wonder if it's even a level. It has to be. Because it's like a wanted guy. So I assume there's a boss. I don't know. Endless. Probably not though. Because it's like town of Hicksville, so it's like it's probably other levels. But I don't know when we're gonna get there. If we're gonna get there. Holy cow, there's a lot of guys. Ah oh, man, that was tricky. There was so many guys there. What do you have to tell me? I don't want any of those things. I would love to get a horse. I mean... Ah, I'm dead. Oh my god. That's going nowhere fast. Alright. Well, in short, that game was a lot of fun. Um, I, I really like how they integrated shops, a shop mechanic, into like a scrolling shooter like that. It was hard, but that was, that was interesting. The levels went on forever. I was like, when do we get to a boss? Apparently never. So, that was fun. That was uh, kind of self-explanatory. I, I don't know. There's really not much to say about the game. It is as advertised. It's, it was good. I, I'd say it was good. I, I wasn't very good at it, but it, it was good. And it also smells. It's so weird. This cartridge like actually stinks. But there's Gunsmoke. Capcom game, by the way. Pretty good job. Capcom. I enjoyed that. All right, back to the depths of the box we go. Let's see what we got here. Oh, cheapers. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. Ah, oh, it would be good if a, a good old friend of mine was here for this one. Uh, this is uh, right up. It's good old YouTube user, Slim Kirby's Alley. This is. The Adventures of Lolo, which has 
one of the most addicting music themes I think ever. Uh, it'll probably get stuck in your head. It's a puzzle game. And it's pretty short. So let's play The Adventures of Lolo. That's gonna be fun. <coughs> Trust me when I tell you. This song will be stuck in your head for days. For literally for days. Here we go. Adventures of Lolo. <laughs> the original NES. Actually, speaking of... It's, it's kind of like a maze game, believe it or not. Here we go. Oh no! Lala's been stolen! By an evil king or something. How are we going to get her back? Well, it looks like we have to go to adventure through his castle. This is a good game. Actually, it's a great game. Adventures of... Lolo! Here we go. This is actually a great game. It's very much maze-esque, and in fact, it, it kind of inspired the maze game. That's the mechanics of this game. Ready? Oh my god, this theme's gonna get stuck in my head. Oh no, I'm gonna be singing this all day tomorrow. So the idea is hearts. You have to collect all the hearts to open up this treasure chest. And when you open up the chest, that opens up the ending to the level. Uh, you can actually use the hearts as ammo to shoot other enemies and objects out of the way. So like right here, I'm going to grab that heart and I'm going to push this block. <coughs> push this block there. I'm going to push this block here and push it here to block that guy. Uh, this one, I believe I have to use a... Uh, no, I don't use a heart against. Let's see. Oh, I guess we don't get we don't get ammo all the time. I guess maybe only when it's, like, flashing or a certain color. Oh, that's right. Now they open up. That's right! I remember that now. Oh, God. All right, it's been a while. That's right. Okay, so once I get all the hearts, these guys are going to open up. So I need to really block in this one. <coughs> how, how am I going to do that? I guess I don't really have to because I just want to make sure that's not the last heart that's left. And that we're good. Ha! Suck it. Obvious first move. Maybe. Maybe not. <coughs> Can't break the rocks. I think you have to restart that one. Yep, press select to restart. Uh, let's see, we get two shots here. I'm trying to remember what to do. as if I'm stuck. Okay, trap that guy in a thing. Oh, wait. I, I think I remember what I have to do. I remember what I have to do. I think you have to... Obvious first move is death. I think you gotta shoot him twice. Yeah, there we go. Shoot him twice, he just goes away. Alright, now we have this thing. Super annoying. Oh, I block. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. I forgot about all the mechanics of this game. Holy crap. That's right. He boxes you in. If that guy catches up with you. And if you touch him, he falls asleep. That's right. Oh my god, I remember that. I remember this game. Does he ever wake up? I hope so. Probably not, though. Let's start over. Let's try that again. Alright, now that I got the mechanics down, I'm remembering things about this game. We should be good. Okay, so Snake we shoot twice to get rid of. We gotta come down here and we gotta touch this guy where he's gonna fall asleep, but harmlessly. So 
I'm just going to wait for him, like, right over here. And then go ahead and run into me. And he's going to fall asleep, but that's fine, because... He can go over there, that's fine. Not a problem. I'm going to make my way around. Grab that thing, and we're good. Perfect. Look at that. That was wonderful. Excellent. Okay, we got this thing. We got what that thing does. Right now. Um, let's see, can I shoot it? Can I touch it? No. How am I gonna get those? I have a I have a horrible feeling that I'm gonna need to box these guys in. So you know what? I'm gonna do that now. Just have a feeling that these guys need to be boxed in. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and uh, make sure that happens. Make sure that they are boxed in sufficiently. I don't have to deal with them. Now how the heck do I get this? Oh, wait. oh, that's right. Just shoot him out of the way. Perfect. Aha! I was right. Those skulls. Stupid, stupid skulls. Start moving around after that. I don't think so, skulls. Lolo is taking command of this. Oh, that's right. Oh my god, these blocks. They're the worst. They're the worst. They push you around. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No block. Ugh. All right. It's okay. That's right. If they, s oh, I that. if they see you, if they look at you, they charge forward. Oh, man. This is great. This brings back a lot of memories, actually. Yeah, if they stare at you, they go into this big forward charging motion. You don't want to get better. And they box you in. These are blockies. Remember this stuff now. Oh, oh. No, oh, no. Oh, fudge. Ah. So stupid. Should've just waited till he left. It's okay. Still good here. No, 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 no. Block. Hey. Hey, block. Hey. Come here. Go, 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 go. Alright, we're okay. good. Level one's done. Floor two. This music is so catchy. Stupid blocks. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, no. No, no, no. Go away. Go away. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop following me. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. What the hell? Do I just have to outrun this thing? I guess so. I mean, I, I will, but... Oh, jeez. Oh, Medusas. Good old Medusas. I remember these things. Uh, so Medusa, if Medusa looks at you, you die. And they can shoot through trees and stuff like that. So, <laughs> gotta make sure that that doesn't happen by doing this. I remember these things. Medusas. The bane of every Lolo player's existence. Okay, perfect. Now we just gotta make sure that we collect all the hearts and don't go around the outside and we're good. Done. Oh, these things. Oh, the moving Medusas. These, these are move. This is a moving Medusa. Same idea, except it moves. Obviously, I forget what it's called. It's actually called something else, but I don't remember. Oh god, it doesn't really matter. It's a Medusa that moves, and it's even worse. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna. Oh. Uh, well, I guess that works. We're gonna box him in like so. Like that. That means we can be free to go around and get all these blocks. Oh, don't wanna, don't wanna do that. It's okay. 
Can I go all the way back around again? And we're good. Just trap him right there. And he's dead. Excellent. I like the puzzling in this game. It's a lot of fun. Alright, moving on. Okay, we got a blocky, we got a snake. This looks wonderful. And by wonderful, I mean this looks horrible. Just gonna follow this guy. So far, oh, nope. Following strategy stopped working. You know what? Then I'm gonna run away from him. Let's try that. That means I can break the uh, block. That way I can break, break the rocks. Yeah. And now we got shots. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Go away. And we're good. Look at that. Look at that. was flawless. That was perfect right there. Nope. Get in there. Excellent. Alright. What do we got here? We got an armadillo. We got a skull. We got a snake. We got an arrow, meaning it's a one way. Jeez. Lots of stuff. Alright. Okay. I remember what you have to do. So, what we have to do is we gotta. It's gonna be really hard. Push this like this and make kind of like a. Ah! BPBH is my password. Nice short. Sweet password. <laughs> That's nice. This is not the end of the battle. It says that every time. Okay, let's see. Let's analyze this a little more. Those two are easy. Now I have weapon. Now I have ammo. That's right. This green just means the armadillo cannot go there. I don't think it's, it really matters. I'm just gonna grab it. Yeah, there we go. I didn't need to do anything. Okay, now I have power to reverse the arrow. Can I use that? Reverse the arrow? Perfect. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Easy peasy. Okay, now. Oh, God. This is gonna be really hard. Oh, no. So many things. Ah, oh, that didn't work. So we gotta box in those guys before... Let's make sure to do that next time. No need to waste a shot on that guy. Just grab that. Alright, let's make sure we do that. Uh, alright, so let's just do this. Push this up, and push this over here. Oh, nope. I guess, like, oh, okay, gotta go all the Not trying to screw myself over here. Gotta go back down. Let's push this this way and up a little and this way a little. You know what? Let's take you and let's move you over there. And you can go right up here. And we need one more to block that guy, and then we'll be perfect. Can I, oh, I don't. I don't. I can't afford another block, can I? But you know what? I can't do. Ah, uh, well, that's gonna be tricky. That's gonna be tricky. That's gonna require some tight timing. But you know what? Let's give it a shot. Grab that. And I am going to grab... I don't think I can shoot the skulls. So I'm going to shoot this guy. Hello, armadillo friend. Alright, gotta be fast here. Gotta be fast. I don't think I'm going to be fast enough. No, way too slow. Way too slow. No, no. It's way harder. Way harder. Alright. Too slow. I might just have to deal with that one skull. And that'll be fine. I'll just deal with it. Should be able to dodge it. Okay, that's fine. Use the power to get rid of that. Is there any way that I can get two blocks up there? Oh, uh, no. Uh, maybe. No, just... Oh, F. I don't want to do that. Oh, this might actually work out. Oh, <coughs> not like that. I wanted to try to box it. I forgot to. Oh, God. Ugh. All right. You know what? First things first. Oh, I can't do that. I need the shots. That's right. That one. Let's just do that. There we go. Bam. Maybe 
you know what? I'm just gonna try to avoid one of the skulls. I'm just gonna deal with it and just try to avoid it. All right, let's go. Yeah, he's ill. He went way down there. I don't even need him. All right, let's get out of there. Nice. Floor three. This is not the end of the battle. Every time. So addicting. Oh, right. That's death. Forgot about that. A little detail there. Uh, alrighty. Well. Gotta do that. Okay, we got a bridge. Let's see. Let's put that right. Oh gosh, I should probably put that down here. One more go at Lolo. Because it's awesome. Alright, here we go. Just cleared floor two. This is not the end of the battle. Oh, oh well that was that was unfortunate. Just wasted one. I don't think I need two, but still. That sucked. Resources. Uh, where do I have to put this? I, I think I see what I have to do. I don't think it matters. Let's do this, though. We gotta do this. Ah! Alright. Now. <coughs> this. Finally, we gotta put one all the way up there. That's just lovely. I just gotta run. I just gotta, gotta haul ass. Oh, oh well. Okay. Put that all the way up there. And there we go. Now we're good to complete the level. Fantastic! Gonna outrun those skulls. They're way over there. They can't affect me right now. We're good. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, lots of stuff going on here. No Medusas to worry about, but we do have an armadillo, which is horribly, horribly annoying. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna turn him into a boat. Right. Excellent. And now, of course, I need to get back. How am I gonna get back? Oh, it's you! I'm gonna go ahead and ride it up to here. Just sprint for the exit. Oh, he, he respawned. Oh, that's nice. Oh boy. Oh boy. That was bad. That was bad news. Oh, so well then. Well then. That needs to not happen again, so I gotta make sure I box in the armadillo after I kill it here. Oh, I can only have one boat at a time. That's right. Come on, other boat. <laughs> Perfect. Well, that was close. That was close timing. I gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Run, run, run. Block. Okay, good. And I'm good here. Excellent. Excellent. Forgot those things respawned. That's right. 
All right, we got a uh, sleeping thing. Two sleeping things. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. I'm gonna use this to protect myself. It's a little shield. I don't think that spot is actually a problem. Oh, oh, this could be though. Let's get him right. Ah, oh, not there. Not there. Not there. Oh, oh, well, that just went. That just went from bad to worse. That just went from bad to worse. That's fine. Oh, you know what? That's fine. Let's have that. Let's let that happen. That's fine. I can I can live with that because I can just go around and collect things now. Oh, that worked out perfectly. Why did that happen last time? That's great. I hope they don't wake up. I don't think they do though. Excellent. Oh, we got shots too. I don't need need any. That was that was fine. Excellent. Moving on. <sighs> More puzzles. Alright, this definitely needs to go there. This definitely needs to go here. And down. I'm gonna say that. This should go there. I'm gonna grab that. Grab that. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, over here. I'm just gonna box that guy in, and we're good. Perfect. That was easy. That was actually not as hard as I thought. All right. Oh boy, a lot of things here. Okay. Let's see. Gotta grab those. Early. Oh, we got a block here. That's sure to be useful. In fact, you know what? <coughs> Sand makes you slower, but that doesn't really matter. Yeah. yeah, I think this will be fine. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe not. No, not at all. Not, not fine at all. Yeah, no. No, no, no. That's it. <laughs> Alright, I can clear that puzzle. Oh, I want to clear that one. Then I'll move on. Lolo is just so addicting. It really is. Even though I'm kind of sucking at the puzzle. Uh, it's been a while since I played this game. But it's still fun. I don't care. Don't be hating on Lolo. Yeah. So I just need to do this. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, I think I just trapped myself. I did. The rock there. So, oh, I gotta go all the way around, huh? This block has to make it all the way around. Wow. Yep, I gotta get that heart last. Right there. Grab all these. Grab all those just fine. That one too. Oh, uh, well, that's okay. There. And push down. And right there. And we're good. Yeah, you can't do anything. Take that. Floor four. You just cleared floor three. This is not the end of the battle. I think this six floors. Really not that many. Oh dear. Alright, let's see if I can do it. Again. That didn't go very well at all. Alright, I gotta beat that level. I gotta, I gotta beat that level. I can't stop. I can't stop at that. Oh, 
that guy's stuck. We just have, I think we just have to trap these guys. Easy enough. Actually, not as hard as I was making it out to be. This game, I think, has two sequels on it, yes. I don't know if I have any of them in the box. They might be there. It's a total mystery. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. Perfect. Ah, uh, looks like Lolo. How nice. I'm glad there's no BS anywhere here. Looks like we're in the clear. Okay, looks like I need to do this. Seems pretty obvious. How do I get back? Oh, here we go. Here's my chance. Nice. Oh, no, not nice. Not nice. Not nice at all. That was not the thing that I wanted to do. That was the opposite of the thing I wanted to do. That was the thing I didn't want to do, was walk extra on that platform. Oh, jeepers. Here we go. That was not, not the idea. Quick here. Perfect. That's that's how it's done. That was what was supposed to happen. All right. Um. Jeez. Look at this. Look at this mess. There's one. Oh, there's only one heart. Oh God. Alright, let's plan for this here. So we got... Box this guy in. Here. And... We have to... Move... This. I think... I might... Oh, you know what? Before we... Lastly, this one here, and I think I should be able to get the box prior to the Medusa happening. Okay, I think I should be able to do that. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth. Is that there? Medusa doesn't happen. I think I, this resolves first. Yes, thankfully. Right, now we actually have to make it to the exit. Which I don't want to push this block straight up, because that would get me stuck. Another puzzle on our hands. This one looks actually really hard. This music's way too happy for this scenario. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's come up with a better plan of attack there. That was pretty pathetic. <sighs> How do I block myself from that guy? Probably this block. Ugh. Let's try it again. That was fun. 
that I, I like Lolo. It's an addicting puzzle game. I was obviously getting really into it, so <laughs> that <laughs> music theme will be stuck in your head literally forever. So that was fun. That was a good time. I, I enjoyed that. That was fun. All right, so uh, let's move on. Adventures of Lolo, still a great puzzle game. A little hard, actually pretty hard, uh, but fun. Puzzle game is supposed to be hard, so that was good. Definitely not a beginner's puzzle game. Puzzler. Beginner puzzler. For experts only, despite the uh, cuddly, cute box art. Alright, moving on. Still held up, though, I have to say. Lolo was still fun. Obviously, still got into it. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. Oh, jeepers. I don't know if I'm going to like it. Ah! Ah! It's gold! That means it's got to be one of two things. And it's the crappy one. No, not necessarily bad. It's Legend of Zelda Adventures of Link. So let's do it! Zelda 2! Let's do it. Zelda 2! There it is, right there. Fantastic. It's gold. Shiny. Let's see how far we can get in this. Probably past the first dungeon. Ugh. So I feel like Zelda 2 gets a lot of unfair hate. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't choose to play it over another Zelda game. <laughs> but you gotta keep in mind, there are only this was only the second Zelda game, Zelda 2. It's not like Zelda was an established franchise. I mean, now you can look back and be like, how could you ever make Zelda into a platformer? But there, were only, there was only one other game. So we're gonna play some Zelda 2. It has some great music as well. And it's fun. The pro there's some serious flaws in this game, though. Um, there's some very, very serious flaws. Mainly, the fact that, uh... <coughs> there, first of all, when you die, you lose, like, all your experience, and you just have to grind. There's a lot of grinding in this game. And second of all... Oh, look at that. I have some save files on here. Uh, second of all, the, uh... I'm gonna do this. Um, the difficulty is extremely inconsistent. Like, the first... <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, jeez. First few dungeons are fine. Not that hard. Um, then, oh dear, does it get hard. Um, Death Mountain is unbelievably difficult. So you'll play this game for a little bit. You'll be like, oh yeah, I totally got this. I can run, I can jump, I can shoot sword beams, just like in the first game. This is great. Uh, no problem, and then you'll get to Death Mountain, and you'll be like, holy crap, this game's hard. Uh, but right now, this game's pretty easy. And you know what? This game is fun, other than the fact that it's, its difficulty can be frustrating at times. It's fun. A lot of random enemies here. Go. I have no idea what what back face was. I have no idea. I honestly have no idea what that is. Probably some in joke with my cousin, like when they were young. Honestly, I have no idea. I hate that you have to hit them with your sword to pick them up. That's stupid. There's a lot of enemies. So we venture to here. We got a town. Look at how peaceful this is. Great music, by the way. Okay, how do I go? Oh, all right. You gotta go to an open door only. The other problem is all the townsfolk are stupid. Return the crystal to the palace. In. Okay, a rapper. The rapper. Behind. Ah, oh, hello, sir. If all else fails, use fire. Thank you for that, sir. <laughs> that's the same guy that's I am ever. It's the same sprite anyway. Please let me help you come inside. Alright, let's go. I can restore your life. I'm sure you could. Could use some restoration right about now. Anyway. Uh, it's town. Useless. Um, we don't need to be in this town anymore. I do like how high Link jumps. It jumps like a whole story in the air, higher than all the buildings. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Oh boy. Back in the 
trees. Spiders, all sorts of stuff. Like that. Alright, so I don't think I want to go to the, that cave yet. I think I want to go this way first. That's the great temple, that's where we start. I think I want to go this way. Maybe. Let's find out. Only one way to find out. Some pretty cool bat. Oh, 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 God. That's right, you need a lantern. Ugh, not that way. Not this way. I'm gonna dodge the rocks. Yeah, I do have to go in this cave to get things started. I guess so. Nowhere else to go. Oh, lantern. I think I need a lantern. Yeah. Too dark in here. Let's try something else. Oh, battle. Wish I could remember where to go. Dead. Dead already? Jeez. Sheesh. How do you die so fast? I thought I had a life bar. They take up all your health in one hit? Game over, return it, or yeah, whatever. So the problem is, a big problem in Zelda 2 is, first of all, you don't know where to go. Second of all, uh, you lose all your experience when you die. Which is kind of a typical RPG thing that you're set back a little bit. But the way you get experience is just through random grinding, and it's really not fun. Which is really unfortunate. So I guess I gotta go there later. Let's try this one. Oh, another battle. Random blobs. These guys have not given me any experience. Oh, I got a thing. Okay. How about down here? Started. I'm struggling to remember, and it's really aggravating. Me. These guys give me experience. Two experience each. See how long it's gonna take to like level up or do anything? It's crazy. Try this way. We got a town here. Please tell me where to go, town. How about here? Give a shot. Oh, right. No lantern. Where do I get a lamp? I just have to use a spell? I don't have a spell. Oh, I can't figure out where to go, and it's really aggravating me. I wish someone could tell me where to go. down here. There's nowhere else to go. It's either dark cave, dark cave, or nowhere. <coughs> I, I know, I thought the first dungeon was like right at the start. That's why I'm really confused. Thank you, fairy. Some help. Uh, see how long it's gonna take to level up? Look at this. 14 out of 2,000? That's why that is another thing that, that this game really is terrible at. Leveling up. Alright, I guess I can't see because I need a lantern. Don't really know where to get the lantern. So, 
to just fire on my cartridge. Ha! <laughs> I wish. Um, no, I know I made some good progress in this game before. And I just can't remember where to go. Which is really frustrating to me, because I do really want to play the first dungeon in this. But I can't, can't remember where to go. Anyone wants to look it up? More than welcome to. So we got the town there, there's a cave there. It's gonna be in the cave. But I can't go in the cave because I don't have a lantern. And I can't use fire because I don't have the fire spell. So what do I do? Ugh, another battle. Okay. So, we have limited options here. Rocks. Let's see if I can find where to go. I don't think I go into the mountain. I definitely don't go up there. So where do I go? I don't want to fight these slimes. I'm dead. After just one hit, you die. What's the point of having a life bar? Alright, I'm kind of done with Zelda 2. I thought it was... I remember it much more fondly than my experience is showing right now. Because I'm getting a, l a little frustrated with it. I wish I could at least go to the first... <coughs> go to the first dungeon! Maybe you get something in the town. You know what? Let's try to talk to the townsfolk. Maybe someone's gonna give me something. It wasn't in there. It wasn't there. Someone, hey you, hey you. Only the hammer can destroy a rock. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Find the heart in southern. Get candle in... Okay. Go west. That's the first clue I've gotten the whole game. Go west. Sounds good to me. Gonna go west. fight any of these things. Okay. I guess it's here. Please let me help. Blah, blah, blah. Hammer. Spectacle Rock. Death Mountain, yeah, of course. Stop and right. Okay, whatever. Trying to get a thing. Hello, sir. Thank you. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Nice to meet you, Eric. Alright, let's move along here. It's gotta be something. Fine magic, blah, blah, blah. Don't care. Come on, someone's gonna give me something. Keys in palaces that they are yeah, okay, found. Yep, can't take a key to another dungeon. It would be nice if I could find a dungeon, find the candle. I don't know where it is. I'm told to go west. It's about as west as you can go. Can't go in here though, because I die. Whoa, 
Ah, killed something. Oh, man, something killed me. That's just great. How am I supposed to get through that? Dead. Ah, dead again. I know you're supposed to get a candle to light this before you do it, but you know what? I'm gonna have to try to sequence break here. And it just doesn't work. Didn't work. <coughs> well, that was an unfortunate run through of Zelda 2 because. I remember making progress in that game and thinking it was actually good. I remember really liking it, but I just cannot remember for the life of me where to find the first item that you need to go, or the first area you need to go, and the first item you need to get through any of those dark caves. So I'm just going to call it, because Zelda 2, despite my terrible experience with it, I am going to insist that it's a, a game that gets unfairly a lot of hate. I'm not going to go ahead and say it's good, but it's it's not like a lot of people are like this. <coughs> this is an abomination of a game. It's not that, but it's it's fine. Um, it's just not not great. Um, Karnov was was better than Zelda 2. Uh, so Death Mountain is just is just super hard in this game. That's the thing. Like you get through the first two dun <coughs> dungeons, I remember, and you're like, all right, I got this, no problem. Death Mountain kicks your butt. And you have to just grind levels, grind levels to even become close to facing Death Mountain. It's just terrible. So, that's the end of that. Zelda 2, it's a thing that exists. It's fine for what it is. I don't think it deserves a lot of the hate it gets. It would be nice if it was a little clearer on the start, though, as to where to go. I know that was a horrendous run through it, but... Oh, well. What are you going to do? This is just blind, after all. That's kind of half the point, is to just play these games and see what happens. Alright, here we go. Speaking of which, let's play this game. I just pulled it out. Oh, no. Oh, I just pulled it out really quick. I was like, maybe maybe if I pull it out fast, it won't be terrible. But I have a feeling it's going to be terrible. Well, maybe not. This is, uh, never heard of it. This is Dr. Chaos. Dr. Chaos with this guy who looks like a sorcerer holding his hands over a, uh, a guy with a knife. There's all sorts of random other generic monsters, like a ghost, a skeleton, a gargoyle on there. So, let's play Dr. Chaos. I have a feeling it's going to be awful. I'm predicting, it better not be another RPG, because I'm kind of done with RPGs. Uh, I'm predicting it's going to be kind of a bad... <coughs> Excuse me. It's going to be a bad side-scroller. That's my prediction. Here we go, Dr. Chaos. Let's do it. <clears throat> Don't know anything about it. There we go, started right up. Sorry about that, that was kind of gross, but that needs to happen. Okay, here we go. Dr. Chaos. Don't know. I have no idea what it's going to be like. So let's give it a shot. Oh, no. Oh, no. This looks awful. <coughs> this looks terrible. Look at the jump. Look at that jumping animation. Holy crap. So I got a sword. I'm jumping. Oh my god, this looks terrible. Okay, here we go. Go ahead and kill the rats. Kill the bat. The door here. Oh no, it's like this stupid point and click stuff. Oh no. Get. Go. Hit. Can I? Oh my god. Oh, so, get this. How do you think? How do you. How do you even think? How do you even think you select the menu option? See on the right side there? Open, get, go, and hit. How do you think you select them? Up and down? 
No, that doesn't work. How about pressing the B button to rotate? Nope, that doesn't work either. You have to hold the B button and scroll by pressing up or down. That is ass. Alright, here we go. Let's try to open. I can't do that. Can I hit? Can I hit it? The table? Alright, well, this seems like a, a... This seems awful. How do I leave? Can I leave? Oh, I can rotate between all my stuff. How do I leave? Oh, I went somewhere. Uh, I don't know how that just happened. Let's try to open that. Oh, look at that! Get a gun. That's nice. Go away. How do I... How do I just leave? How do I leave the room? Oh dear. Oh, I got a gun. That's oh, I guess oh, I, I just scroll that way. Oh, it's like oh no. It's like a 3D perspective. It's like you're in the middle of the room and the room rotates around you. Oh no, this is the worst. Why do games do this? That is brutal. Holy, oh god, I don't even have that, I don't even have the right thing, oh no. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> this is painful. Oh god, oh god. This is so, so bad. Alright. Let's at least try to check something else out. Is this a random guessing game? How about here? All the stuff looks the same. Everything looks the same. What? Oh! A thing! A thing! There's a thing! There's a thing! Switch to the gun! Shoot! Die, you thing! Oh, I killed it! There was a thing there! Jeez! Holy cow! Well, it's dead. Open sesame. Nothing there. Nothing there. this. Got a thing. I killed the thing. That was a thing that happened. There. Can I go there? No way. Okay. Huh. Alright, let's try to open some of these things. Oh, gun. Get the gun. It's a mystery. I really don't care to solve it. Looks like a potion. Okay, let's go this way. Guess not. I open those things. Let's go this way. It would be nice if they distinguish between what's the exit and what's the entrance. Like, real nice. Should I go back into the, the original room here? Because I think there was another doorway here, wasn't there? My original door. Yeah, there was. Can I go there? Okay. Nothing. A potion, I guess. Take it. Is this a window? Oh, nice. Give me more bullets. Let's deal with that. This is so bad. Oh, a thing! There's a thing! Oh my, oh my god, there's a thing! There's, what, what? What was that? <coughs> I don't like the enemies instantly respawn. What the hell was that thing? It was a thing! There was a thing there! 
that was weird. Alright, I'm gonna give it one more, one more good old try here. Nothing. Oh, another one of these things. We got this thing. That was exciting. That was probably the, that was the most exciting thing so far. Oh, well, that didn't really help. Yeah, all right, all right. I'll turn it off in a minute. I got. I want to find it. Oh my god, the thing. I want to at least like find something. officially gonna call this game a piece of shit. <laughs> this is terrible. I don't want to play this anymore. Oh my god. We found two things, though. We, we fought two things, uh, and they were things that appeared, and I don't know what they were, but I shot them both. That was much progress I'm gonna make in that game. That was uh, Dr. Chaos. That was just... That was Dr. Chaos right here. I don't think we actually found Dr. Chaos. I guess he's in that mansion somewhere. Uh, that was that was just awful. That was abysmal. Not fun. Okay, moving on. That was just utter trash. Um, here we go. Let's see what we got. Oh boy, it could literally be anything. It could be. Ah, oh, ha 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 ha! It could have been every anything. Luckily, this thing is a is it the good thing? Check this out. One of my all-time favorites, Super Mario 3. Let's go. Let's go. That's exciting. Fine. Oh, my God. After Dr. Chaos, which was so bad, we got some Mario 3, which is so good. Here we go. Oh, if it'll work. Oh, we're not going to be... Oh, of course, the good game's not going to work. Ah, yeah. All right. Oh, oh. <laughs> a little glitchy there, actually. Uh, not not quite what I had in mind. All right. Try that again. <laughs> now, I, actually, I remember this cartridge having a big issue with the sound not working. Where's the volume? There's a, there's a silent Super Mario 3. I actually remember that. This cartridge having a big issue that there was no volume on, on this version of Mario 3. So it's like... You gonna play Silent Mario 3? What the heck? Oh, God. Uh, but at the very least, it, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, it would be nice if there was a uh, you know some some volume, but whatever. Oh oh, we do have volume. Oh good. I thought there was a I thought there was a, a problem with sound. I remember there being a problem with the sound on this cartridge, but I guess it's working. I'm glad that it is. Ah, finally a good game. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh god, compared to Dr. Chaos, holy cow, is this miles ahead of that. Wow. This game is fluid, it controls well, the level design is fantastic, really one of my favorite games. Oh, I messed up here. Alright, there's another uh, leaf here. I'm trying to be fancy. In all fairness, I am actually used to playing the uh, All-Stars version of this game. Um, I actually did not grow up with the original Mario 3 version. I grew up with the Super Mario All-Stars on Super Nintendo. So, I was actually not used to playing on this version. I was used to playing the All-Stars version. Um, anyway. I don't need that. I literally do not need that. Oh, this game is so good. So happy to play a good game. Oh my god, so great and nostalgic. Perfect. And I got a star. 
I could probably beat it, in all honesty, in like an hour. Um, but I'll just get through World 1. I know I can get the warp whistles and all that stuff, but I'll get through World 1. Classic Mario right here. The infinite one-ups, too, on the Goombas there. That's another thing. Perfect. Look at this. This is fun. This is fun. This is really fun. Um, this is great. A star. Oh, this is so much fun. Love me some Mario 3. Excellent. Moving on. Oh, yeah, we got a hammer bro here. No matter, because I can carry shells now or boomerang bro. That's right. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, not too oh, God. Not what I wanted to do. It's actually okay, because there's a power-up right there, and there's, of course, Coin Heaven! Look at those retro graphics. That is just absolutely fantastic. Yeah, sorry about that. I didn't realize you guys could hear Skype. I, I kept... I, I, I forget about that. I, I, like, forget that that's a thing that happens. M Skype's muted, so it should be gone. Um, I forget about that. I'm sorry about that. If that's been coming up. Obviously, everyone's been chit-chatting about Smash Brothers. Uh, so... I forget that, that that comes through the stream. It's muted now, though, so it shouldn't be a problem. Anymore. Yeah. Powering Goomba. Oh, wait, I get the whistle. What am I doing? I get the whistle. Uh, it's this block right here, right? So, yeah. Yep, you get the whistle here. Perfect. Oh, you still get- oh, that's right, you still get hit by those things. I forgot about that. I, I forgot that you still get hit by those things, even when you use the- when you go behind in the background like that. I forgot about that. That's alright, no matter. I'll go through the level normally. You don't need those shortcuts anyway. That was actually really easy. There we go, perfect. And we're gonna run behind the thing, and we get <clears throat> one toot on this whistle. We'll send you to a far away land. <clears throat> Excellent. Toad House. Pick a box. Its contents will help you on your way. Gotta, of course, go with the left box. Cause it's always a leaf. <coughs> Excellent. Let's try four. Even though one four is not fun because it's a scrolling level. It doesn't matter. We got this. Finally, a good game. Oh my gosh. This is such a relief to be playing this after playing that crappy Dr. Chaos and the stupid stuff we played today. And it was really disappointing to not make any progress in Zelda 2. That was really upsetting. I know you can get the coin chip here. You need to have a leaf, though, so you can get the actual blocks. Um, because otherwise, you can't get some of the uh, multi-coin blocks. I only failed at 1-3 because I forgot that you could, that you would still get hit by enemies if you went behind the background to get the warp whistle. That's hardly a fail. That's, I mean, it is a fail, but it's just mostly due to lack of memory. Yeah, this coin's in half, by the way. Alright, takes care of that. Ah, missed the last star. That's alright. It's still one up. Doesn't matter. Alright, moving on. Spade house. Here we go. Oh, 
Ah, oh, nope. Nope. <laughs> Not even a little. <laughs> Not even at all. Nope. Alright, here we go. Good old fortress. Oh, no, no, oh, oh, jeez. Oh, that sucked. That sucked. Holy cow, that was awful. Trying to, get... trying to skip and try to be fancy, and it just didn't work out. All right, I'll go through it the regular way. Oh, oh, no, no, that doesn't work. I'm not going to be able to get the warp whistle now. That's a bummer. That's all right. Warp whistle's in here. It's up there. Use the use the leaves to fly up. I know how to get it. So I get to go the normal way. Oh, that was stupid. That was stupid. I can't believe that, that happened. I tried to like really like rush and be all fancy. It didn't work at all. <clears throat> That's all right. Not a big deal. Just trying to show off what world one. All right, boom boom. At least I get to fight boom boom. I wouldn't have gotten to do this otherwise. Oh, oh, boy. No. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, excellent. That was fun. Okay, going on to level five. Of course, the secret right here. Nice. Oh, fail count of the entire stream. Why even bother? It's got to be so astronomical at this point. There we go. Always a trap. You always slide down that hill and die. Yo. You know why Mario 3 is so good? For, I mean, it's obviously so good. The music is good. The sound's good. The graphics are great for NES. The amount of content for an NES cartridge is unbelievable. But also the levels. <laughs> the levels are so good. And there's a lot of non-linear levels. It's so, like... Like, compare the, these levels to the levels of the original Super Mario Brothers. Not that the original Super Mario Brothers is bad, but as you saw, they're, they're so simplistic. These levels had moving platforms, bouncing blocks, so much more dynamic. And so you could do so much more to interact with the levels in this game than you could in the original. I need that. Perfect. I still think there should be a bonus for getting one of each card. There's not, unfortunately. Let's go for Hammer Bro. Easy peasy. What a joke. Nothing in the blocks, right? Sometimes you get a hit with something. Nothing. A star! Nice. And I missed three one ups. Or whatever. Doesn't matter. Moving on. The king is a dog! The king has been transformed into a dog! <coughs> okay. Whatever. Airship. Let's do it! It's gonna be intense. So iconic. So iconic at this point. Like, obviously, everybody knows the airship theme, and everybody... Like, all the newer games have airships, and it all started here. All started with Super Mario Bros. 3's airships. So iconic, and so classic. Drop that one cannonball. Alright, in the pipe! I better not die to Iggy. Oh god, I died. Oh, this is uh, Lemmy, I think, right? Or Larry. No, Larry's the first one. I totally died to Larry. 
That was terrible. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was that was something. That was a thing. Let's not let's not talk about that. Let's not not bring that <laughs> not bring that up. Let's not bring that up. Let's not bring that up. <laughs> not talk about that. Not talk about that. No, don't don't bring that one up. That should have been. I don't know why that didn't happen the first time. That was so easy. All right. Well, that's the first world of Mario 3. I, I could keep playing the entire game of Mario 3. I, I love Mario 3. I know I'm not. I wasn't the best at it in this run, but I love it. If I really dialed into it, I, I would be be really good. But just wanted to quickly get through World 1, and we get the king who's like, "Oh, thank heaven, I'm back to my old self again." Thank you so much. Here's a letter from the princess. Thank you, Peach. Appreciate that. Alright, so again, I could keep playing this, but I'm going to call it on Mario 3. A lot of fun. Total blast, but... Um, Obviously, I, I, I want to move on. I want to try to get one more game in before we, we're done. Um, because... No, you, oh man, I almost want to end on Mario 3 because it's such a high note to end on. It's such a great, fantastic classic game. And I have a feeling we're, like the last, if I pick another one, this is going to be terrible. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm a glutton for punishment. Uh, this is probably, if I had to say the best game on NES, Mario 3, without a doubt. One of the best platformers of all time. Um, especially the All-Stars version, which is, I think, way better um, than this one. Not that this one's bad. The All-Stars one is just, it takes a, something that's already fantastic and makes it even more fantastic. Um, I'll do that on stream in the future, I'm sure. All the Mario All-Stars uh, remakes. Anyway, that was fun. Alright, here we go. Let's uh, get rid of good old Mario 3, which again, I love. Um, and it was it's a blast to play. Uh, probably the best game on NES. Now, unfortunately, we have to dig back into the depths of the box and see what we can find. It's probably going to be bad. All righty. I don't want to do this, but I'm going to do it. Ah, uh, uh, I get you. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> Alrighty. I guess this is happening. Uh, I remember a lot of people asking, hey, are you ever going to get any LJN games? Because everyone knows the Angry Video Game Nerd is the big uh, hater of LJN. Um, yes, apparently I am, because uh, this is not the one you might think, though. It's not terrible. Uh, it's, it's bad. I didn't say it's not terrible. I've played it. It's bad. But it's not, like, one of the worst. This is a uh, good old... Roger Clemens MVP Baseball. Let's do it. Roger Clemens MVP Baseball by LJN, the little rainbow down there, if you can see it. So here we go. Roger Clemens MLB Baseball. What team is he on? Our team? I, I don't think they probably could have used any of the actual team names. So if you notice, his like hat just has a generic R on it. I don't think there's actually anything. So here we go. Let's play some baseball. Let's do it. <laughs> it's going to be so bad. Alrighty. Got to go ahead and pop that sucker in. And get started. There we go. It's from 1991. So you think it would be pretty good. It's pretty late in the NES lifespan. Check out those graphics. 
That's pretty impressive. Play some baseball. It's a nice little opening jingle. I like this. He threw a baseball at me. Press start. I was in one player. It's just me. Regular season. You go through a whole season. Holy cow. Let's just do exhibition. National division or American division. I got to represent my American League East Boston Red Sox. So here we go. <laughs> of course, you can't use any of the team names because there's no licenses. So, <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, that is funny. I guess we're going to have to go. I almost want to pick the Detroit Wheels because that's just so bad. Um, but we got to go with the Boston Hornets, I guess, because, you know, that's that's the team name. Cleveland Tomahawks, the New York Rebels. What? <laughs> I guess I went back. I'm gonna go east. Boston. Oh, the computer. Oh, it's the computer. Um, oh, we gotta do Boston, New York then. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna have Clemens pitch because why would I not? This is Roger Clemens' uh, MLB MVP baseball. Let's do it. Good for me. Um, starting lineup, whatever. I don't, I don't know if, I don't think any of these players are actual players. So, whatever, fine. How do I just click start? There we go. Whatever. I don't think any of these guys are actual players. If they are, let me know. It doesn't have the national anthem. It has the national anthem. It better, that better be it. Here we go. Play ball. Well, this will be fun. I'm pitching first. So let's see how to pitch. Here we go. We're going to throw a pitch. Oh, that was a nice pitch. That was uh, no, no pitch speed, of course. Okay. I guess I press A to throw a pitch. Can I press B? Okay. B is to pick off. That's nice. Um, what if I press A and down? Okay. They all throw different pitches. A oh, foul ball. Oh, this is like kind of advanced. But I have a feeling it's going to be terrible. That was a change-up. Oh, my God. This fielding is going to be so sloppy. Ah, I got a strikeout. Excellent. <laughs> Did you hear that? Ouch. What was that? Good. Strike one. And, oh, ball. That was way inside. Tailed way inside there. A little ground ball. The th long third. Foul, though. That one. Ow. So far, not much action here. I'll try to induce like a hit. Let's like actually get like some something going on here. Oh, five, pop up, get the ball. No depth perception at all. I got it. Aha! Take that. Moving on. Here we go. I guess A is to swing. B does nothing. Can I bunt? I don't, I can't bunt. That's oh, I can bunt. B. I can press. That's so random. I press both A and B. No, no, I guess not. I press oh. something to square. I didn't see what it was. I don't know if these are if these are clearly not actual player names. This is so hard. How are you supposed to hit? How are you supposed to hit anything? Look at how the ball comes so fast. This is no. This is a boring game. There's no crowd. High fly ball, the deep left field. That ball is back at the track. It's gone. Oh, run. I somehow hit home run. All right. That works for me. I don't know how that happened, but it happened. All right. Success. I'm winning. One nothing. Out. Oh, out. <laughs> oh, that was great. The Boston Hornets won nothing over the New York Rebels. Not going to be able to get another hit. Oh, jeez. That was so far inside. Why did I swing? Oh, God. Ground ball through the hole into center field. A base hit. I don't know how to advance to second. Not going to try, but I don't know how to do it. How do I, can I steal? I'm trying to steal here. Probably not. That's just a line drive. That doesn't do anything. Well, I'm up one nothing. So there we go. Up one nothing there. Over the New York Rebels. Fly ball. Down the third base line. And it is out. <laughs> out. 
A little dribbler down the first base line. Was that fair? Oh my god. I throw it in. I don't know how to throw to a base. That would be nice to know. Don't know how to throw to a base. Nope. Another foul ball. Out. Aha. Strikeout. Perfect. There we go. Oh, okay. Uh, just switches to the right fielder who's running down the warning track. That just throws it home. How do I actually throw it to a base? Don't I just point at the base and press the... No, I don't. Because up. Don't tell me down. You have got to be kidding me. <coughs> you would think in a baseball game, the most simple control is to press the direction and the throwing button to throw to first, second, third, and home because it's a baseball diamond. Nope. Guess what? To throw home, you press up to throw home. And to throw to second, you press down. What the hell kind of crap is that? Throw to what? That should just be intuitive. First, second, third, home. How do you press up to throw to sec to throw home? God. Who like who thought of that? Oh, you gotta die for that. Oh God. Die. He skets right back up. Get that ball. Ha! Ah! Oh, missed it. Another foul ball down the first baseline. Line drive. Lay out for it. No, no, jump. Dive. Oh, my God. All right, this is getting a little excessive here. Let's try a change up. High fly ball. Popped up just behind third. Need to catch for the out. All right, here we go. Moving on. Bottom of the second. Let's see if I can tack out another run. Tied at one now. Oh, I'm never going to get another hit again. The ball just comes way too fast. You have to just take a random guess. There's no way to do anything. There's no way to do anything. Oh. Dribbler to third. He throws to first. I've got to say, pretty impressive for NES. Like, bad. This game is bad, but pretty impressive for NES. Compared to baseball for NES by Nintendo, this is way better than that. A little noise would be nice. A little volume would be, be kind of nice. High fly ball down the left field line. Hooking. Foul. Oh, that's a fair ball. Third base. One oh. hopper throws to first. Ow. All right, there has to be a winner. It's probably not going to be me. Oh, he just jumps. Okay, that's how you... <laughs> so you dive. I don't know why I picked off to third. Uh, so you dive with B, and you jump with A? Like that. There we go. I like those little pop-ups down the line. Those are working out well for me. Ball. That was so close. So are these stats? These stats must just be all made up. Or no, they're probably they're probably based on the real players, but they obviously can't use their names because of uh, licensing issues. Out. So I bet these are these are the actual stats for the Yankees, um, you know, at the time. But they can't obviously use their names at all. So it's just M Donningly, whatever that is. If I throw the same pitch again. Is it going to be the same result? If I do this, wait, wait, wait! Don't tell me I can do this over and over. And get the same result. Oh, no, I can't. I was going to say, don't even tell me. It's pretty It's pretty close to the same. Pretty close to the same thing. All right, I should probably stop throwing that pitch. Because that was actually well hit. All right, let's throw something else. Okay, it doesn't matter what I throw. Can we not hit a foul ball? Thank you. Holy cow. All right, come on, baby. For the win. For the win. Yeah, the only real player in this game is Roger Clemens. He's the only actual named real player. Everybody else is just made up. Why am I swinging? Why am I swinging? 
See, there's no way you could react that fast. How are you supposed to react that quickly? There's no, there's no way. Nope. Oh, nope. File. Shank that one. Ow. This comes too fast. It comes way too fast. Oh, high fly ball just over the shortstop's head, but he backs up a few steps and makes the catch. All right, you know what? I'm, I'm fine calling it a tie game because I don't really care anymore. I'm, I'm pretty much done. That was definitely an experience. Um, bad, bad, but not, I guess it would be impressive for the time. It was probably the best. Actually, you know what? That's probably not even true because this is now 1991. I was going to say it's probably the best baseball game at the time, but probably not even because by then you had Genesis. And I'm sure there was a better baseball game on Genesis at that point. So this game is just utter garbage. Uh, it doesn't have any real names, no real teams, no real players besides Roger Clemens. It's just bad. Just bad. So I'm not going to bother with this anymore. No, the AI is awful. There's no way to time your hits at all because you just have to take random guesses. I got a home run randomly. That was cool. But other than that, Nothing worth uh, writing home about, so no thanks. All right, well, that was fun. Uh, I think I'm going to call it for the games, and I'll open up to question and answers now. Um, but that was the third time reaching into the box of NES games and pulling stuff out. I want to show you very quickly. I'm going to swivel the camera a little bit. I don't have much flexibility with it. Take a look at the uh, stack over there of NES games. You can see it piled up there. Look at that. That is high stack of all the games that we've played so far on that table. Um, in fact, I can move that view of the camera. I'm assuming it doesn't tumble down. Let's hopefully do this very carefully. And go ahead and move this table right over here. The stack of all the games we've played so far in all the NES grab bags right here. Let's see what we got. What did we play today? Uh, we started here, actually. So we got through uh, how many games? Oh, oh, geez. Well, that wasn't part of the plan, but that's okay. That's all right. Dr. Chaos took the brunt of that one. <coughs> that one. Um, so we played, just to recap a little bit here. We played, started off with good old Super Mario Brothers. Nothing wrong with that. That's a fun game. Classic. Uh, then it went downhill very quickly. We got Ninja Kid. Ninja Kid was terrible. It was so bad. Um, I just, I hated it. I, I really didn't like it at all. Uh, we then got Ice Climber. Ice Climber, that's a skater die theme, which is cool. Uh, Ice Climber is fine. Ice Climber is fine. It, it's fun. It's just when it gets harder, the game's flaws get, uh, you know, more glaring. We then had Ultima Quest of the Avatar, which is a game that probably was awesome when it came out. Nowadays, it's pretty painful to play. But I guess its battle system was pretty innovative. It was like a weird hybrid of turn-based and, and uh, like strat strategy. I don't know. We then have this game. This is a fun game, Gunsmoke. That was a running, you know, scrolling shooter. That was fun, Wild West. Nothing else to really say about it, but that's a good thing. Nothing bad to say about it. That's good. We had, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Good old Adventures of Lola, which I played a lot of. Uh, great puzzle game. Still holds up today. It's a lot of fun. A little cryptic. Like, you know, nothing's really explained to you. you got to figure it out on the fly, but a lot of fun. After that, we had, unfortunately, couldn't make any progress in Zelda 2, the Adventure of Link. I really wish I could have done better at that, because I remember that game being fun once you got into it. But I guess the start of it was really, really, <coughs> really bad. We also had a uh, good old Dr. Chaos after that. Uh, this game was definitely easily the worst of the day. This was so bad. I hope I never have to play that again. We then followed up that terrible game, though, with a fantastic game in Super Mario 3. Super Mario Bros. 3 is just one of my favorite games of all time. So I'm really glad we were able to play that. And lastly, we had a little baseball showdown in Roger Clemens' MVP Baseball, where Roger Clemens is the only actual player in that game. So, that was a thing. Uh, that was a third NES grab bag. That was a lot of fun. I always liked doing this. Purely because, again, I think I've said this before. 
But I think this type of stream, it captures the essence of what a stream is all about. It's all about blind reactions, in my opinion. Uh, it's all about just having fun, doing random stuff, and that's about as random and, and as fun as you get with, in terms of reactions and just playing stuff and being with you guys, and it's a lot of fun. So, uh, my voice is killing me from talking. Uh, so, if you guys have any questions for me, I, <coughs> I will answer them. Oh, God. I'll answer them, um, but I might try to keep my answers kind of brief. So, we got about 15 minutes for questions. So, let's see what we got. Sorry for the Skype noise, by the way. I forgot that that totally came through on the stream. I should have uh, muted that a while ago. My fault. Uh, so let's see if we have any questions that I can answer. Um, next week, by the way, let me before we get to questions. Next week is our fourth NES grab bag stream. It's on the usual time, you know, Tuesday, uh, which is going to be fun. Next, a week from today. Actually, that's the first day of my vacation <coughs> from school, which is great. So I'm probably going to be ultra happy. Hopefully, I'll be better and not sick. Um, which is weird because I was sick and then I got better and then I think I got sick again, but it's like a different type of sickness. Before it was like a traditional head cold. Now this one's all in my throat. And it's not that I have a sore throat because my throat doesn't hurt when I'm not talking. But when I talk, it's really hard and I get like, I don't want to say shortness of breath, but it's like hard to breathe sometimes. I don't know what it is. Hopefully nothing bad. Probably nothing bad. But whatever. Still going to work. Still teaching. All right. So, any case, let's see what we got. I know everyone's keeping track of my fail. That's always fun to do. Um, moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Let's see what we got. Uh, better than Mario Super Sluggers? No, I, that's not even in the same league as any baseball game made after 1992. Uh, that was terrible. Um, moving on. Dr. Chaos is your new favorite game. Oh, God. No, no, no. Do not play that. Am I ever going to let's play another Zelda game? Asked Bulldozer Man 185 Uh... I'm hesitant to say yes because I don't... Like, let's plays are just so hard for me to have time for now. Um... Will I ever stream another Zelda game? Or will I ever play another Zelda game on the internet? Absolutely. Uh, I fully intend on playing, um... Through Wind Waker, which I've been playing on stream. And Twilight Princess HD, I'll probably play through. Uh, and Skyward Sword, I'd like to give it another another go. Um, especially when Zelda Wii U comes out, that's probably going to be all that I stream for like a month. Um, so, yes, definitely. I don't know if it'll be a strict let's play, <coughs> let's play, but I love the Zelda series too much to just ignore it. Alright, moving on. Um, what anime... This is Joshua1012020 asks a few questions. What anime would I recommend to a newbie like yourself first? That's tough. I'm not really an anime guy, so it's tough for me to say. Uh, my favorite anime, if you consider it an anime, it's not really an anime. I wouldn't say Avatar, the last airbender. <coughs> Excuse me. It's an anime. Not really. Traditional, like, Japanese-style anime. I suppose Dragon Ball Z is my favorite, in all honesty. Um, I'm just not really that into anime. I know... Bleach is supposed to be really good. I know Death Note is supposed to be really good. Um, I know... I've watched a little bit of Naruto. I started to like it until it kind of spiraled out of control and got a little ridiculous with the powers. I was never... <coughs> I, might, I might get a lot of flack for this. Never really a fan of One Piece, I have to admit. just didn't really like it. Sorry. Uh, I, just, I just couldn't get into the whole powers and everyone had random abilities type of thing. Didn't really like it. Uh, but I, I know a lot of people do like it, so check it out. It's probably worth checking out. Um, but, I don't know. <coughs> if you're new to anime, and really looking to get into traditional uh, Japanese anime, uh, probably, I don't know, uh, probably, let's see. If you want something more lighthearted, I guess you should go with, with something like uh, One Piece. But if you want something more dark and more serious, probably Death Note. It's up to you. I don't know. Those are probably the two I'd recommend. Oh, uh, Yu Yu Hakusho was good. I watched that, a little bit of that. That was a lot of fun. I, I'd recommend that. That was a good show. I really liked Yu Yu Hakusho. That was fun. Anyway, enough of that. Um, are you mind doing Majora's Mask on the 29th? Um, let's see. 29th. So that's the week after um, next. The week after next stream. I actually don't know. <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I know it'll be fun to do, 
because uh, it's like New Year's and it's kind of like it relates, it relates to the clock and like it's kind of I see the connection to New Year's. I, I get it. Um, I don't know. In all honesty, I might actually play. I might go through like a games of the the year type of thing. I don't know. I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do for that. I'll let you know as, as, uh, next week what I'm doing the week after. But I will let you know. But definitely consider. Sorry, I just had to sneeze. Definitely consider Majora's Mask, though. Definitely, definitely. Alright, moving on. Since I, uh, Joshua also said, Since I work with kids, do I know how to, how to whip and nay-nay? Yes. Watch me whip and watch me nay-nay? Yes. I'm not gonna do it. But yes, I do. Alright. Anyway. Kirby user ins <coughs> Sorry. Sorry, this cough is really bad. I really apologize. I know, I'm sorry for interfering. Um, Kirby user in Smash asked, <coughs> What's a guilty pleasure of mine? Guilty pleasure of mine... That's a good question. I assume uh, he means... <coughs> in terms of gaming, what's a guilty pleasure of mine? You know... I don't know if it's a guilty pleasure, because guilty pleasure usually implies, usually implies that it's bad and something that not a lot of people would do. I really like playing through old style shooters. Um, a, <coughs> a lot. If I have a little bit of downtime, like about a half hour of downtime or something, I'll fire up Doom and play through like the first few levels of Doom. In fact, I am going to do a Doom stream. I think it's one of the games that I'm the best at uh, in terms of which games would you like bet your life on. Uh, Doom is one of them. And uh, I would love to do a Doom stream. Uh, we probably will, actually, very soon. So that's my guilty pleasure with, <coughs> with the game. Die. Alright, moving on. Um, Meow624 asks, what are my plans for the holiday, Christmas, and all that stuff? Um, so I do celebrate Christmas. Uh, Christmas Eve is hosted <coughs> at my house this year. Um, so being Italian, I don't know if you guys know of this tradition. Uh, I don't even really know. It, it is a tradition, but the more and more that we do it, the less and less I believe it's a tradition, and the more and more I believe it's just like people wanting to eat good food. Um, but the Italian tradition is that we make for Christmas Eve a dinner consisting of seven fish courses. Uh, they don't have to strictly be fish, it could be anything with seafood, so shrimp, scallops, clams, all that stuff is fair game. <laughs> so that's what we do Christmas Eve, we all make that dinner and have the whole family over. And then Christmas Day, um, Christmas Day, uh, we get to go over to my aunt's house, and we do, you know, of gifts and stuff like that, <laughs> and it's fun. I kind of like having the back-to-back -back holidays, that's pretty nice. What's is, what's going to be really cool this year is, um, my cousin from New York is going to be in, and he just had a, a, a daughter, who's actually now my goddaughter. She's, uh, what, what is she now? She was born in July. She was born in July, jeez. She's like six months old. Um, so that's exciting. Uh, so she'll be here, and also my cousin from California also just had a daughter, also in July. So both babies were born within literally like I think a week of each other, which is kind of crazy. Um, she is not my goddaughter, but she'll be here too. So it'll be the first time that they're actually going to both be in the same place at the same time. So I am anticipating that Christmas is going to be a pandemonium of people coming over, like friends from who knows when, like my cousin's friends from like second grade all coming over to take pictures who even knows but i'm anticipating it's gonna be pandemonium um but it'll be fun i'm, I'm like um i'll talk more about the holidays next time and traditions i i would but oh god my voice is just awful right now um moving on bounce bro how much memory would a non hd 15 to 20 minute youtube video take up that's a good question um it says 10 megabytes, 50 megabytes, 100 megabytes. Um, 10 to, oh, 15 and 20 minutes of non-HD footage. It's a good question. Uh, <laughs> I guess it depends on how efficiently it was encoded. I would say definitely more than 100 megabytes. Probably like, yeah, well, I'd say maybe about 200 megabytes is what I'm gonna I'm gonna put that at. That'll be my answer to that. Um, yes, yeah, so I talked about Smash. Uh, I'm very excited, obviously. That's a, that's a big deal. Big deal. Smash Ballot winner and all that stuff. Very exciting. 
Uh, Lazy Kirby says, what's my le favorite and least favorite newcomer announcement in Smash 4 on that same topic? Favorite, without a doubt, is Cloud. So hyped for Cloud. Um, it almost makes me wish we had Sora in there, because Sora, I think, would fit better in the uh, Mario, you know, Nintendo universe. But I'm not going to complain about Cloud, because Cloud's awesome. That's what I'm most hyped about. Like, by far. Least hyped uh, was probably Corrin, because Corrin is cool looking and seems cool. Just seems to be a promotional thing for Fire Emblem Awakening, really. And, I mean, it, it, it's fine. It's just... I, I'm never going to complain about new content. <laughs> like, new characters. That's great. Love new characters. But, whatever. I, it's not, I'm not too, too thrilled about that. Not too, too excited. Uh, moving on. Checking out that uh, their Smash Direct after I checked it out before. I watched it before. I'm ahead of the game. I will ever stream Batman Arkham City? Sure. I can stream that. Let's do it. Add it to the list. That was a fun game. Fun game. Uh, am I doing anything in my class before break? Asked uh, Decimic. Uh, or Decimic, I guess. D E C I M I C. Uh, yeah, of course. Probably going to do something. Um, I don't know. I have to think about it. We, I want to do some sort of like game or something that's still educational, but like I don't just want to waste a class, <coughs> a, class <coughs> a class period. And I don't feel comfortable yet being to the point where I could like order food or stuff like that for all my students. Um, so I don't really want to do that yet, but because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm still relatively new, I don't want to be slammed for anything like that. But I'll do something. I'll do something cool. I'll think about it. Uh, well, I downloaded the new content in Smash 4 soon, asked Lazy Kirby 22. I'll probably do it tomorrow. I, I'll probably do it right now, but I'll do it tomorrow. Uh, moving on. Did I see the tweet? Oh, Mars Rover said about XV hack screenshots. I did, and it made me laugh. I, I, that looks great. Keep, keep up the good work, and I really do want to test that for you. Alright, moving on. A game like Metroid Prime? That would be a great game to stream. Definitely, for sure. We got Dr. Mario playing in the background. For sure, that's a great game. Um, you know what? I really do want to play Metroid Prime 2 again. I've played the, uh, the original Metroid Prime like three times now. Metroid Prime 2 I've only played once. And I remember really liking it. Even though it was really hard. And I didn't like the end where you just backtrack. But Prime 2 I might what might be the one I'm most inclined to play again. That'll be fun. Well, let's see. Well, let's play a Mario Party game. Not strictly in Let's Play sense. That is ultimate stream material. And yes, I will be streaming Mario Party. Not sure when. But that's... For sure, gonna happen. <laughs> Too good to pass up. Uh, let's see what's going on. Um, fake Jake one. Every time, gotta bring this up. Doctor Chaos or Moose Safari? Not even a question. The Moose Safari is never gonna be picked over anything. So, Doctor Chaos, of course. Bounce Bro asks, "How was that my week since last stream? It was actually pretty good. I've only really got this weird throat sickness on." Uh, yesterday so it's really unfortunate but like my weekend i was fine i was healthy no problem um it's just weird that this all kind of suddenly came about but whatever what are you gonna do uh it was good though uh actually last week was was a pretty tough week um for other reasons like it was fine in terms of work and it was fine like in terms of a lot of other things but for for one reason in particular it was pretty tough and i'll talk about it next week but I just don't want to talk too much right now. But it made me realize, like, how much responsibility I really do have as a teacher. Like, you're in charge of students' lives. Not just, like, yeah, they're learning their education, whatever, but parents, like, entrust their kids to you. I don't know why they would ever do that, but, uh, in any case, they do. So, <coughs> I have a good story for next week. Remind me to tell it. Remind me to tell it. Because it's good. Alright, moving on. Um, let's see if we have any others. Moose Safari, now 624. Moose Safari or blindfolded Moose Safari? Well, that's talk about being between a rock and a hard place there. Gotta go with a, a, a blindfolded Moose Safari because at the very least, it's not a Moose Safari. It's at least, like, I can't see the horrendousness of it. I can be in my own, like, little world. So, that is my opinion. Um, yes, Mars Rover, I did. I saw them. They looked awesome. <laughs> I love to play that when you when it's ready to go. 
Alright, so. Uh, will I watch the new Star Wars this weekend? No, unfortunately. I'm super hyped about it, but I cannot see this weekend because this weekend's just way too busy. And also, I was unable to get tickets. Very, very sad. But, what are you gonna do? Uh, just try not to spoil it. I, I, I obviously want to hear if it's good or bad, but, you know, don't spoil it. It's obviously something I'm gonna go see in the theaters. Obviously. Alright, anyway. Okay. Death count was seven and a half. Don't really know how seven and a half happened, but we're going to say that the death count for the night ended up at seven and a half. Okay, so, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's, been, <laughs> it's been a tough stream to get through. Uh, one, like I said, I didn't want to call it off. I was debating. I was like, I really can't talk. Just call it off. No, because I look forward to doing this every week, and it should be a lot of fun. It should be a lot of fun. Um, it, it, like, next week's going to be a lot of fun. The week after is a lot of fun. I really, really do look forward to this. So, it, I, I really didn't want to call it off. Um, and I'm glad I didn't because I had a lot of fun playing tonight. Uh, it was something I needed. I needed a little little break. And that's nice. Um, last question is, what's my favorite Star Wars movie out of the six? Uh, probably... Probably Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi is so good. Um, a New Hope is great, too. And they're all, like, all the original trilogy is fine. The first two prequels are so bad. Um, and the third, the third one's good, though. Episode 3 is good. Um, but I have to say, uh, Return of the Jedi is probably my favorite. Alright, anyway. That's it. Um, you guys, uh, have a great week. I'll see you guys next week. Next week's gonna be, uh, NAS Grab Bag 4. It's also gonna be slightly, uh, holiday-themed as well. And you'll see what I mean next week. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Hopefully, I need to go to sleep. Because hopefully I need to sleep this off and just, it'll be better. We'll see. Can't get any worse, can it? Shouldn't probably say that. Probably shouldn't say that. Probably could. Alright. Happy holidays. I'll see you guys next week.